Okay, this is Shooting Riser and it's time to rev it up. How's it going guys? I will be starting soon in a couple minutes. Okay, it looks like my audio is good. I'm just testing the audio real quick. I am having technical issues with YouTube. Uh, YouTube is the only one that's giving me issues right now. Uh, Twitch and Facebook are doing really good. I don't know what's wrong. It's not me though this time. So this time is YouTube. It tends to do that. But I can be heard really well. Hola Kendri, si estás ahí ya regresé. YouTube está de malas. Me está dejando muy mal. I will be, uh, voy a empezar muy pronto. I just need to share all of the links. Voy a, a share todos los links para que la gente lo vea. I will be right back. I'm gonna mute myself.
Okay, sorry about that. I do have to share the links and then if I do it beforehand um, It messes everything up on Streamlabs. That's why I can't uh, schedule it beforehand I still can't figure out why it keeps messing everything up like all the details and everything. Thank you. Mr. Real Supre. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Madnuts. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are still here. Kendry, si estás aquí, muchas gracias. I'm gonna go ahead and start. There is enough of us now so I can start. So please um there believe it or not there is still people that don't know that haven't seen this game or don't know anything about it so please uh, keep uh keep the spoilers low and uh feel free to talk to me about any other survival horror game any other game or any like scary encounter on the chat that you've ever had if you would like to share that that's cool um i do i do uh this is a walkthrough so i'm going to be taking my time so that people can enjoy it the game does contain a lot of theories and mysteries that even to this day are still not answered. So all of the games have that, especially the second game. Believe it or not, I still find uh, secrets nowadays that I've never seen before. So I'm going to try to keep the spoilers low and let's get this uh, scary show started. Oh, before I go, um, I, I, before I switch the scene, um, I am going to wait until the the main cutscene of the game starts. You guys would be able to pick up some really interesting stuff from that. So, and I just realized that a couple days ago, I, I actually never really paid attention to it. It takes some time to pop up, but it will. So, it is a 1999 game, so it is a PS1 game, so please bear with me. Um, okay, it looks like we're still good. Okay. Okay, um, yep. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this started. I'm gonna switch to live scene now. Okay, I do have to activate the capture device because if I, if I don't do that, if I don't do that, um, there it is. Perfect. This is the main cutscene of the game. all right looks like we're all good we're all set to go so i hope you guys enjoy that little cutscene that cutscene ended up um answering a lot of mysteries just by that little cutscene alone and i just saw it recently so i will be playing the game 
on hard mode, it's going to make it a lot much harder and scarier. Can you hear me, Mr. Garcia? Okay, it looks like he said that where's the audio, but I ended up turning it up, so hopefully you guys can hear it. Um, Let's see here. I'm going to turn my mic down a little bit. All right, there we go. But yeah, let's get this party started. I'm going to go hard mode. Unfortunately, there's no Silent Hill like Resident Evil, but this is the beginning of the game. So what ended up happening was he was uh, the little girl was getting visions, was getting nightmares about a town. And then Harry, the main character, his name is Harry Mason, uh, was uh, answering her pleas and took her to the town in the hopes of in the hopes of um, trying to find out why the little girl's getting those nightmares. Cheryl, where could she be? It's strange. It's quiet, too quiet. This place is like a ghost town. Okay, so yes, it is a PS1 game. This game was made back in 1999, so I do apologize for the graphics. There is no remastered version, unfortunately, but yeah. Anyways, he ended up crashing into the town, and there's no one here. I, I can check stuff, so it is 1999. The creators were really good. The whole game has a bunch of details, a bunch of secrets, so let me know in the chat if you can spot them. But here's the car. My car is too banged up to drive. Where's Cheryl? Hope she's safe. There is voice acting in the game, but when he's checking, there is nothing. They don't use voice acting. I believe it's a Jeep. It's an old school Jeep Wrangler, I think. Was there even Wranglers back in the day? But it is very similar to the Jeep on Resident Evil 2, the one that Leon uses. It was pretty popular back in the day. So this is a walkthrough, so I'm going very slow. For some reason, the underpass is blocked. Can't get out of town through here. And I don't even know why. Even to this day, we don't even know why that's, that's happening. So I repeat, his name is Harry Mason. He's a writer and his wife died before the game started. So this is the inventory screen and that's my life. I don't have anything as you guys can see. And he says he doesn't have a map for this place. I don't even remember where I'm supposed to go. I haven't played this game in years. So I don't remember where I'm supposed to go. I don't have a map. I will get one eventually. But I'm gonna head this way. Okay, looks like there's a cutscene. Footsteps? Looks like she's running away from us. So I'm gonna go ahead and follow the footsteps. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I can hear it. There's a silhouette there. So I gotta head into there. So, no one knows where the fog comes from either, even to this day. Not exactly. 
There's just so many mysteries of it. It looks like she went in there. I heard her uh, open the door. And it says, beware dog. Whoa. Looks like we're already getting started, huh? What is this stuff? What the? What is it? There's blood splattered all over the walls. The camera angles are getting weirder. Now, Harry was not made for combat. He's supposed to be a normal person. That's what he's supposed to be. That's why he was designed this way. He has no experience with firearms or anything. He's just a writer. Let's go in here. I don't have a flashlight or anything, but it's getting darker. That's strange. It's getting darker. Better than nothing, I guess. At least he had a lighter. It used to be used a lot in the 90s, actually. A broken wheelchair. What's this doing here? No idea. Even to this day. But we're getting some crazy imagery here. What's this? It doesn't say anything else about it, unfortunately. He's not running anymore. I see a bunch of flies. And uh, blood splattered everywhere. What the heck is this stuff? It's pretty impressive what they, what they were able to do with the PS1 graphics. What is this? What's going on here? Okay, so... I gotta escape from here. And I don't know what these things are. But they're hurting me now. I gotta run away from them. Ah. I gotta wiggle them off. Okay. I'm dead. Wow. You can't do anything about it. They laugh like little children. Sybil Bennett. Was I dreaming? How do you feel? Oh, like I've been run over by a truck. But I'm all right, I guess. Glad to hear it. You from around here? Why don't you tell me what happened? Wait a second, I'm just a tourist. I came here for a vacation. I just got here. I don't know what happened. I'd like to find out myself. Uh-huh. Have you seen a little girl just turned seven last month, short, black hair. My daughter. Sorry. The only person I've seen in this town is you. Where is everybody? I'd tell you if I knew, believe me. But from what I can tell, something bizarre is going on. 
That's all I know. Hmm. What's your name? Harry. Harry Mason. Sybil Bennett. I'm a police officer from Brams, the next town over. The phones are all dead, and the radio too. I'm going back to call in some reinforcements. Hmm. Hold it. Where do you think you're going? My daughter. I've got to find her. No way. It's dangerous out there. In that case, I need to find her now. Cheryl's my little girl. I can't just leave her out there by herself. Have you got a gun? Um, no. Take this, and hope you don't have to use it. Now listen to me. Before you pull the trigger, know who you're shooting. And don't do it unless you have to. And don't go blasting me by mistake. Got it? Yeah, thanks. You do best to stay nearby. I'll be back with help as quick as I can. All right, interesting stuff that she said. She's a police officer from Brahms. It looks like it's a neighboring town right next to Silent Hill. Unfortunately, we've never been to it. I've always wanted to know what Brahms was like. Pretty interesting. Um, so I'm assuming she's the one that saved us from those little children. From those children monsters. So I'm not too sure. But I'm pretty sure it was her. But they never really talk about it, and we don't really know how I escaped from that little alley. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks to her, we got the handgun, so that's good. This game is actually really hard, in hard mode, so I have to be extra careful. This is a survival horror game. It says the name is the handgun. I think it's actually a Glock 17. One of the guns that was used in Resident Evil. Uh, the handgun received from Sybil holds up to 15 rounds. Unfortunately, Harry's really bad with the gun, so he doesn't know how to fight. But here we go. We gotta explore the bar. It's not a bar, it's like a, like a cafe. It's called Cafe 5 to 6. I think it's a reference to 7-Eleven. Pinball machine, nothing useful. Okay, it looks like there's some stuff here. Whenever the camera angle changes like that, that usually means that there's something there for you to grab. So this is the health, the health drink. This is the life of the game. It looks like there's a flashlight, so I'm gonna take it. Here's a map of Silent Hill, the original Silent Hill, the residential area map. Pretty cool if you guys ask me. It's so 90s. Whoa, what was that? I thought I saw something on the back somewhere. I've never seen that before. Anyways, looks like uh, he says that someday someone may experience these bizarre events. Hopefully they'll find my notes useful. So it looks like Harry's gonna write down what he's been seeing so that if someone else ever encounters some stuff like this, they can know what, what's going on. So this is the save point of the game. So I'm hoping that I can freaking uh, save the game because I am playing on the PS3. This is the PS1 game. So I'm gonna save the cafe. So there we go. That way, if you die in this game, you gotta go back to your last save point. So it's a very dangerous game. Kinda like Resident Evil 1. So I'm gonna go ahead and explore around. Oh my god, I forgot to equip the handgun. So you do have to go to the inventory screen and equip. Which is annoying if you ask me. So what does he say about the health drink? Supplies nutrition to recover a small amount of stamina. Flashlight. One touch on and off switch pocket in the chest pocket. So I don't really know exactly what happened in that alley. 
All I know is that he got attacked, and I think he was saved by Sybil. I think that's how it went, but they never really say anything. So there is no moving the camera. The camera is fixed. Here's another health drink. I'll take it. Thank you. That's two of them. That's nice. There's a kitchen knife. It's a weapon, but it's not very useful, unfortunately. Let me see what he says about it. Hard to use, but better than nothing. Okay, so I gotta check the map. Because we finally got the map. So that's where I am. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, most of these streets are named after famous writers. There's uh, Ray Bradbury from Fahrenheit 451. Um, I think I've seen Elroy, but I don't know the reference to it. I know Backman Road. I know that's uh, Stephen King's pen name. He used to go by Backman. Who is that handsome man on the thumbnail? That's a good question. It should be left unanswered. That's one of the mysteries of this live stream. So I believe Midwich was a writer too, but I'm not too sure. And then Queen Burger is a reference to Burger King back in the 90s. So where is the place that we landed? Okay, so we landed in Bachman Road. So right there where the X is. So the green, the green is me. It's Harry. So I'm gonna grab that item there. A radio. Is it broken? Can't hear anything. So I can't even grab it, so I don't know what the point of that was. Okay, I gotta practice, because this game will kill you. Gotta practice a little bit. Harry is terrible with the handgun and any gun he gets. And he was designed that way. So I'm gonna get out of here. Looks like the radio that? is sounding for some what? reason. Radio. What's going on with that radio? Oh my god, what the hell? Okay, these things are annoying. They're the main enemies of the game. But like I say, Harry's not very good at shooting. This is not a dream. What's happening to this place? It looks like a pterodactyl. It's called the uh, the fly screamer, the screamer. I think it's called the screamer. Yeah. So yeah, they randomly appear in the town and they're really annoying. I have to grab the radio. So what is the radio for exactly? No one knows, but it does warn you when the monsters are nearby for unknown reasons with static. So, portable radio that emits static when monsters are near. No one really knows, and every game has one, except for Silent Hill 4. Another unanswered question, Mr. Pancakes. Where could Cheryl have gone? So, Cafe 5 to 6, 5 to 9 is a reference to 7 Eleven. I guess I'll check that alley again. So we have to go back to the alley again. So Harry's gonna write down on the map. Cheryl, okay. So we gotta look for her. Oh, five to two? Okay, I get it, because it's seven. Get it? Five plus two is seven. Seven, 11. There is random enemies in the, in the town running around, so I mostly try to avoid them. They're a waste of ammo and health. Here's Burger King or Queen Burger, and there's a health item right here. I'm gonna call you guys the Patero Buzzards from the Mist, because that's exactly what you guys are. They roam around and try to whack you on the face. Oh, and by the way, all the streets are completely destroyed for unknown reasons. Gotta dodge this thing, gotta dodge him, gotta dodge him, he's trying to get me! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back to where we first landed. I'm gonna head this way. I think I'm supposed to head this way. 
Nope, I'm heading the wrong way. I gotta head back. Ow, he did get me, piece of crap. You do die very easily in this game. Very easily, so luckily I have like three health items. I don't remember the places very much, so I'll be checking the map. Okay, I got, I'm gonna head north. Now, as far as I'm concerned, like Sybil said, the cars and technology are not really working. Not exactly. They're still functional, but not really. If you guys hear that, that's the radio. Emitting static when they get near. So I'm going back to my car. See what the heck just happened. Oh my god. Why was he there? Okay. There's a health drink inside now. My car's too banged up to drive. Where's Cheryl? Hope she's safe. I didn't know he actually said something. Cool. What does he say about this? The street is blocked. Can't get out of town through here. This is pretty cool, guys. I've never seen that Easter egg before. Here comes, here comes, here comes the potato buzzard. He's trying to get me. There's two of them. Oh my god, stupid thing. I am playing on hard mode. For those of you, who, for those of you that just got here, so the game is gonna be hard. It is. It becomes a lot scarier to me. Another reference to 7-Eleven. What the heck is that thing doing there? Did you guys see that? It was on the trash cans. What the? I didn't even know I could come in here. This is strange. There's a bunch of health items though. But it looks like somebody ransacked the place. I've never been here. This is so cool, guys. Somebody somebody was messing with this place for some reason. I can tell. But oh yeah, heck yeah. Here's a first aid kit. So those they give you a lot more health than the health items. That's a weird camera angle. Usually the camera angles tell you everything. I'm going to check back here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save here. I'm in the store. I wonder why that camera angle. It looks like I'm good in health. Looks like I'm looking good. So that's good. A printer. There's something here. There's a health item here. Thank you. Oh, that book was open. I thought it was going to be an interesting file. The f there is files in this game too. They're pretty interesting. So I'm going to run out of there. Because that Patero Bazard is right there. Or the Air Screamer. Yeah, it's called the Air Screamer. There he is. I don't know what the heck he's doing there. Or it's doing there. I'm running. I gotta check the map. We gotta go back into that creepy alley. So it's this way. Okay, I gotta take a left. Is that right? Yeah. So we're heading back into the alley when the, from when the game first started. So for those of you that are not here, when the game started, we had to chase a little girl here. It's his daughter. And she disappeared in the fog. Then we encountered a creepy alley. And then these little children-like monsters uh, attacked us and then they killed us. Oh my god. Um, these guys are called the... Uh, those are the dogs. I don't remember what they're called. The groaners? Okay, they're called the groaners. Yeah. That's what they're called. Looks like Harry's a little tired. <laughs> he doesn't say anything about the guts again, so... Let's see what the heck is going on here. I love that camera angle. That's freaking awesome. So freaky. Uh-oh. Gotta run, gotta run. There's groaners here. Go, 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 go. 
So it appears to be normal. The place that we were sent to is not here anymore. So there's handgun bullets here. So that's good. There's blood here. And it looks like there's some stuff here for us to grab. The sketchbook cover, this picture, it's me. The first picture that Cheryl drew in the sketchbook that I gave her on her fifth birthday. It looks like there's also a map. To school. Is it the Cheryl sketchbook? We gotta go to the school, to the Midwich Elementary School. That's the first stage of the game. So we gotta head in there. We gotta hang in there and find the little girl. So apparently she left her sketchbook here and I'm guessing because she's a child, she thought that the school was gonna be safe. So that's where she ran off to. So now we're gonna head in there. We gotta dodge some groaners. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the sign outside says, Beware the dog. Ah, it attacked me. It got me good. It got me again. Stupid thing. It's better to run away from these enemies, honestly. But there is a sign. There is a sign here that says, Beware dog. Oh my god! I barely dodged that one. Run, 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 run! They're faster than they look. Oh man, I love these alleyways. They're so freaking awesome. I've seen some in the in Chicago, in Chicago, Illinois. That's where I've seen stuff like that. I gotta check the map because I don't even know where I'm going. Okay, it looks like the map is telling me that this road is destroyed. So I'm gonna head into. I'm gonna keep going on Finn Street. Head into Midwich Street. So hopefully, hopefully the road's not destroyed. I gotta check my health. I just got attacked by like three times. I'm already on yellow. That's ridiculous. Okay, I should be good now. I'm in green now. Oh my god. Stupid thing. Here it comes, here it comes! <laughs> okay. Well. The town's destroyed. The road's destroyed, so we can't go that way. So now I gotta head this way. I'm gonna head south. Yep. Oh my god, he's trying to get me! Stupid thing. There's a doghouse there. And some dogs. Some groaners. I'm gonna check it out. Oh my god, I need to take care of this one. Okay, that's one down. Okay, you do have to stomp on the enemies. Oh my goodness gracious with you. Stupid thing. Oh, I'm dying. I'm gonna use the first aid kit. Okay, looks like I'm still good. I'm gonna get whatever is in there and probably a doghouse though. I'm not sure since the dog's not around. Nothing in particular useful. It looks like this door is locked. So that tells me I can go inside of it. Oh, he actually fell? Cool. <laughs> he fell on his knees. And here comes that stupid buzzard. Stupid thing. Run, 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 run. It's trying to do like a little sweep attack. They're very strange. No one knows why why they're here or why they do the things that they do. I'm gonna head to the right. Okay, it looks like another roadblock, but what's this? There's some notes here. The dog house, Levin Street? Okay. What do these say? I can't grab those. Okay. I don't get it. I'm guessing it's that doghouse that's outside. 
I'm guessing it's got some kind of secret. I haven't played this game in years, so I'm not sure. So I have to keep heading uh, south. So I'm gonna turn around. It's going pretty good, uh, Mikasa. YouTube gave me some trouble at the beginning, but it's all good. <laughs> I don't know what was going on with YouTube. Thank you for being here tonight. Guys, for those of you watching, if you guys want to share some spooky encounter on the chat, feel free to do so. Share some stories about survival horror games. Don't be afraid to do that. Oh my god, it looks like the road's completely destroyed over here too. Okay. So the road's destroyed. <laughs> I bet you do. <laughs> I seen you. <laughs> it's quite something, honestly. <laughs> you need to get some more scares going. Some more haunted mansion scares. Do I seriously have to go all the way to Elroy Street? Another groaner. These are called groaners. <laughs> It'll be good for you. Oh my goodness. With those dogs. Well, they're not actually dogs. They're called groaners. Where is the dog house? I gotta find the dog house. He should have had it marked on his map. He usually does. <laughs> That's pretty good. Just a tiny bit more. You should have a little bit more extensions. <laughs> if I got you, leave me, leave me, leave me an angry, an angry emoji on the chat if you want. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a low cheap scare. That reminds me, I do want to do uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, so... There's something in the doghouse now! <laughs> Did you? <laughs> you looked away at that moment. Oh my god, I almost got you. It was meant for you, so... <laughs> it looks like there's a key, there was a key in there in the doghouse, so... Oh my god, stupid groaner! It looks like it's used for this house key, okay. That was accidental, so we gotta go inside. Oh, now I'm mad because I ate one. <laughs> I'm mad. So it looks like we're inside a house. No idea whose house this is. I gotta leave an angry, uh, an angry, I guess, I guess that works. Yeah, there you go. A sad face or an angry face. <laughs> All right, cool. <laughs> You're lucky your friend was talking to you. I was about. <laughs> oh my god, with you. Okay, so we're inside this mysterious house right now. It looks like the doors are locked. So I'm, I'm right now. I'm, I'm investigating this place. We got some handgun bullets. There's a TV set. The power must be out. It doesn't work. So mysteriously, the power doesn't work, but it does still exist. For some reason. More hang on bullets. He says nothing useful. There's a health drink here. I'm gonna check the fridge. The refrigerator is empty. Okay, so what do we have here? Some kind of a map? Keys for Eclipse? What does that mean? Something is written on the map hanging on the wall. So for those of you who are just got here, Queen Burger is a reference to Burger King and Cafe 52 is a reference to 7-Eleven. Ghoul? There's a store called Ghoul? I copied it up to my map. What is this door? There are three locks. So it looks like we gotta find the locks so we can get the heck out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and save. 
This is the saving point. For those of you that who, that, who just, just got here, blah, 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 blah. Um, Harry writes down the events when he saves so that if someone else encounters this, they can know what's going on. That's going to be very important because I'm going to be doing the games uh, chronologically for the whole month. All right. So we got to head... We got to head into... Let's see here. So Harry wrote down everything on the map. This is the house. The dog house. I'm going to call it the dog house. And then for some reason, he highlighted that. And then he ended up circling Elroy Street. So we're heading that way then. So I had to head... I have to head into Matthew... Matt Matinson Street? I can head into Finley Street, I guess. I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to go ahead and head this way. For those of you who don't know, the radio emits static when the monsters are nearby. So if you guys hear like white noise or like a bell ringing, it's usually because there's monsters nearby. I'm going to head into Matheson Street, so I'm going to head south. Again, nobody knows where the monsters came from. I hear monsters nearby, they're getting close. Looks like this is the other end of the alley, so there was a, an air screamer hiding there for some reason. It's down, I gotta kick it. Otherwise he doesn't die. They squeak, they like to squeak. Okay, it doesn't look like there's anything in there of interest. Is there anything else? Okay, I forgot. I actually grabbed a steel pipe. This thing is very useful, guys. That way I not have to use my ammo. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good it's a pretty good weapon against these enemies. So I'm gonna go ahead and equip it. So unlike Resident Evil, you do get a pipe. You get pipes in Silent Hill instead of a knife. I gotta check where I'm going. Okay, we're heading into the alley. Alright. This is a walkthrough, guys, so I'm gonna go very slow, analyzing everything. Happy Burger? How did you know about that, Mr. Red? <laughs> How did you know about Happy Burger? Interesting. No spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers, Mr. Red. <laughs> you can leave little nudges and stuff like that. <laughs> Okay, stupid air screamer trying to follow me. Cold caballo cacha de que? Cacha, cacha de oro? <laughs> okay, we gotta find the keys, guys. We gotta find the keys. That's strange. Okay, I know why. I know why. I missed it. It's right over here. Oh my god. I did just whack the, ex the air screamer with my pipe. Okay, like I said, Harry's terrible at combat. He's a writer. He was not meant to uh, fight. He's supposed to be made this way. I'm trying to take care of this air screamer, but he's being annoying. Okay, he's dead. It's dead. It's when it, when they squeak, that means they die. What does that say? Off limits? Okay, I'm supposed to go in here, guys. There should be there should be a uh, there should be a key in here. Okay, this is strange. Looks like somebody was having fun with the basketball. Or a uh, dog's head. There's a dog's head here. There's a lot of references to dogs in the game for some reason. I wonder why. 
Like someone really hates him. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but one of the dogs was gutted at the beginning of the game. The key of the woodman. If you guys understand that reference, let me know in the chat why the key is called the woodman and why the dogs look like somebody really hates them. Nobody knows why that dog's head is here. There doesn't seem to be anything else in here, so let's get out of here. So we got one of the keys. We got two more. Truenalo. Que lo truene. Okay, I'm gonna head into Elroy Street. It should be better. I'm gonna head that way. Oh my god, you stupid thing. Stupid air screamer. Okay, gotta head to the right. For those of you who just got here, I am playing on hard mode, so it does become a lot scarier. They're a lot harder. The enemies are a lot harder. What the heck is this? Okay, there's a key here with blood. That buzzard trying to get me. I gotta get it quickly. The key of the scarecrow. Cool. There's a health drink here. Yes, I'll take it. Nope, not this time. No idea whether there's blood there. So, there's a couple mysteries so far. We don't know where the police officer that saved us at the beginning is. Apparently, she went to go get uh, help. Uh, she was a police officer from Brahms. She appears in the movie. A serial killer, Mr. Palma? <laughs> There is a sailor killer in the universe, but I can't say who it is because <laughs> I will be playing the games chronolo chronologically one by one. So that's why I started with Silent Hill 1 so people understand what's going on. The woodsman, the scarecrow, the little pigs and the bad wolf. You're pretty close. You're pretty close to figuring it out. It is a, it is a child's story, a children's story. They're references, they're references to a story, a fairy tale. And there's a reason for that. Okay, I'm heading this way. Did I get all the keys? Never mind. I gotta head this way. I got two out of the three keys. You're pretty close, Mr. Red. Very, very close. Brother Grimm of Americas? Brothers Grimm? Well... What's the story you've ever heard that it was a scarecrow, a tin man, and a woodsman? Do you remember? Okay, I gotta take a right. There's a reason for that. There's references to that story. They use them in Silent Hill to, uh, to reference... Uh, a certain part of the game so it looks like there's a police car and for some reason it crashed so we gotta check this out hang on bullets here stupid thing it looks like the key of the lion is here does that ring any bells guys <laughs> nice going mr. red you got it it's the wizard of oz and why is that mr. red why is the wizard of oz here in silent hill does anybody know let me know in the chat I got the lion, the woodsman. The lion was a coward, right? And the woodsman, he had no heart? No. I don't remember what the what the woodsman what the woodsman was. What what was his deal? I got the three keys already. So that's good. I got to head back to the house, so I got to take Matthew 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 Street. So why is that, guys? Why is the story, The Wizard of Oz, a part of Silent Hill? If you know, let me know. But Mr. Palma is pretty close to figuring it out.
I'll give you guys a hint. What is the premise of the story? Why, why are we here anyways? How did this whole quest start? In? We got here in a Jeep. We crashed all of a sudden. Because Harry saw a shadow on the road. I'm almost to the house. Okay. I haven't played this game in years, so I don't remember where things are. I remember certain parts of the game, but I don't remember everything. Especially later on in the game. Okay, I gotta go into the house. Okay, there's the house. Where's the dog house? Cool, cool, cool. Oh my god, that stupid groaner. Woof, woof. The big bad wolf. Okay, made it. You can't put your mind into it? We are looking for his daughter for a reason, right? That's right, Mr. Rio Supre. Yeah. It looks like he's look like Mr. Rio Supre is figuring it out. <laughs> what happened to Dorothy and her story in The Wizard of Oz? What happened at the very beginning? The red slippers going home? Exactly. There you go. Good job, guys. <laughs> Here, you guys get a little clap. You guys are going to get a little clap. Hold on. I'm going to give you guys a clap for a good job. You guys have been good, guys. <laughs> All right. I use the, um, the key of the woods, man. That's right. That's right, Rio Supre. Because the tornado snatched Dorothy. It perfectly mirrors Alessa's, um, what's it called? Um, the little girl's uh, story. It got snatched away and trying to go home. So it looks like we got it unlocked, guys. Did I, did I really get you, Mr. Palma? Mr. Rio Supre, did I get you? Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go in there. Let's see what's going on. Uh oh. <laughs> it's getting dark again. What's going on? So it looks like my flashlight turned on. For some reason, the town's completely dark now. But that's right, Mr. Rio Supre and Mr. Palma figured out that the tornado and the red slippers are references to um, the story, the Silent Hill story of finding the little girl parallels Dorothy's story from The Wizard of Oz. That's why the keys are the Woodsman, the Tin Man, and the Lions Man, I believe. So pretty good, guys. Good job, guys. So we're supposed to be heading into the elementary school looking for his daughter, for his seven-year-old daughter. We ended up crashing here because they came as a tourist. They came to visit Silent Hill because the little girl was having bad dreams. And he's trying to find out why that's happening. All right, we got to head out. The, the monsters do become stronger in the darkness. Just so you guys know, they do mutate eventually. Oh my God. It's a lot more terrifying and dark. What the? There's blood splattered here. There is a reason for this, guys. If you guys know why, let me know in the chat. 
why this particular house is the way it is. Why did it have those locks there? And why there why is there blood in the garage? He doesn't even say anything about it. Which is pretty weird. Yeah, yeah, I guess it gets creepier in the dark and the enemies are stronger. So I'm gonna head north first, see what's going on up there. I don't think I've ever been up there, so I'm gonna go and see what's going on. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I just got killed. Wow. I just got killed on screen, guys. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and load. Luckily, I saved. That's crazy. I did die. F. F, Mr. Palma. Dang it, that killed me. They killed me. Is it working now? Mr. Rio Supre? Looks like I'm having buffering. Okay, it looks like it's still working. Okay. I'm in the house. So let's see here. Luckily, I saved. I can't believe I died. Those things are harder than I thought. Okay, it looks like we're still good. I think we're still good. Okay, I gotta check. I gotta check on... Okay, I gotta check on on YouTube if it's still good. YouTube has been giving me issues, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and head in there again. Yep, it's still good. Oh, thank God for that. Use the key of the lion, the key of the woodsman, and the key of the scarecrow. It's unlocked. All right, it's gonna go dark again. Well, here we go, let's get out of here. Okay. Give me a second. Okay, did it? Okay, it looks like I'm experiencing some issues. Just a second. Okay, it says I'm still on. Well, that's weird. Okay, it looks like I'm still on. Okay, let me see if I press the... Inventory screen, yep. Okay. Alright, I gotta make sure I'm still good. For some reason, it's been giving me issues tonight. Back to my channel. Yeah, I'm still on. Okay, looks like I'm good on Twitch. Mr. Palma, can you hear me? Are you still there? <laughs> the bot, the bot ended up. Uh... Okay, okay, Mr. Rio Supre, let me know if you can hear me. Mikasa, let me know. Hector, Mr. Hector, let me know. Okay, I better get a health item because I did die. So you got the uh, you got the bot mad, <laughs> Mr. Palma. But it looks like we're still good. It looks like I got your I got your message. 
Oh my goodness gracious with you. Okay. I gotta check on Facebook, making sure that the thing's good. Okay, it looks like it ended on Facebook. That's not good. Uh... Yeah, so it looks like on Facebook it ended, unfortunately. I don't know why it did that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mikasa821. Is it still cutting off? Okay, I wonder why. I wonder why it's cutting off. But yeah, it looks like it ended. It looks like it ended on Facebook. Yeah, Facebook is not doing good. Is it still cutting off, Rizupre? I wonder. Okay, it definitely ended on Facebook, unfortunately. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna, guys, if you guys can hear me, I'm gonna end it. I'm gonna end the live stream and then I'm gonna come back on right away. So give me just a second. I'm gonna restart the whole thing. So I will be back. I will be back, guys. I apologize for that. I don't know. I don't understand why it's cutting off. Okay, I will be back. Go ahead. Uh, st thank you very much, Mikasa821. Thank you very much for being here. Have a good night. I'm going to go ahead and end it, guys, and then I'll be, I'll be right back. So please be on the lookout for the link. Okay, it looks like I'm back online, so hopefully you guys can hear me fine. It's been acting very strange tonight. Okay, I hate it when it does this, when it cuts the live stream in half. It's annoying, but um, I gotta make sure Facebook is good and Twitch is good. My voice is sounding good on YouTube. Okay. I think thank you guys for you for those of you who are still here. Thank you very much. You guys are the best. Thank you for being patient. It's annoying. Okay, looks like I'm good. Looks like I'm doing good. Okay, on looks like I'm good. Looks yep. like I'm doing good. Yep, loud and clear. Okay. Okay, gotta take care of the echo. Okay, so it looks like we're back online. So for some reason, Facebook ended up cutting off now this time. So I'll have to figure out why is what's going on. Thank you, Mr. Palma. Thank you for being here. All right, let's keep it going. Sorry about that, but we're back online. I don't understand what happened, but here we go. Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube are sounding good to me, especially on my phone. So that that buzzard ended up killing me. I didn't even see it coming. Okay, I'm gonna head this way.
That thing is deadly. So, okay, what the heck am I doing here? Okay, that road is destroyed. Okay. Cool. Can you fear can you hear me fine, Mr. Palma? Oh my goodness gracious. I'm getting overrun by monsters. They're definitely a lot harder in this game. I better run away or they're gonna kill me again. That's that's pretty creepy, huh? I lost the signal and uh, Harry died. <laughs> I ended up dying right when I lost the signal. That's crazy. Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Palma. Appreciate it. Thank you for being a... Uh, for being a... Uh, a good sport. <laughs> okay, the road's completely destroyed again for unknown reasons. But I'm almost to the school. I do remember that there was a bus around here. And there was stuff inside of it, but these cars don't work for unknown reasons. Stupid thing. I think the cars I think I think the bus is right here. Okay, another groaner. I'm looking around for the bus. This is a walkthrough, guys, so I will be going very slow analyzing stuff. I swear the bus was around here somewhere. I remember there was a bus here. I think there was a health item and some bullets. So I definitely want those. Okay, road's completely destroyed. Okay. I'm gonna head into the midwitch. There it is. Found it by accident. You can go inside of it. I do remember this. Go, 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 go. It's got some interesting camera angles and it's pretty creepy. Fun fact, I went to a haunted house and they had a whole farm section of the place. Like it was like a house and, and they had like a like a farm section behind it. And then it had like a whole facility outside and it had a barn house. And then it had a section where it was a buzz and we had to go inside of it. And, and it was just exactly like this. And then the monsters would come here and one of them almost touched me too. Like it was way too close. <laughs> it was a girl and um, they had a British accent. Okay, I'm gonna save here. <laughs> Much better. It was freaky though, she got way too close. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the... Uh... No se te olvide el bolillo del susto. <laughs> Okay, stupid groaner, attack me. Gosh, I hate you. I gotta find the entrance to the school. Mr. Real Super, I don't think I played this game with you, did I? I don't think I did. I don't think I ever did. But yeah, we're inside the school now. So we made it to the school, guys. Okay, we're here. All right, here we go. All 
Ok, so that's perfect, Mr. Real Supre. El bolillo para el susto. <laughs> Oh, I remember that. I remember that we in Mexico, I believe, when we get like a like jump scare, we gotta eat some bread for it. It's, it's bad luck if you don't. Something bad happens to you if you don't. But we're inside the Midwich Elementary School right now. Right now, I'm analyzing stuff, seeing what's going on. Looks like there's a map here. Boss fight? Probably. So it looks like I got the... Midwich Elementary School map, so that's good. There's a map here of America. Doesn't say anything though, of interest. Okay, I'm looking around. There doesn't seem to be anything around here. I'm gonna check the map. Okay, I'm gonna go to reception. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Let's check this out. Moore, Ronaldo, Gordon. This must be the list of teachers. So there's a reason for these names. These are the teachers of the place. For those of you who don't know, they're actually a reference to a band I don't remember the exact name of them, but they're a band. They were the band uh, the band members. I believe they did some of the music. I believe, but don't quote me if I'm wrong. But that's why they chose those specific names. Also, Gordon Ramsay, that's basically the first thing that I thought. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure Gordon Ramsay was probably a little kid around this time. Um, what's it called? So this Midwich, Elementary school, Cristiano Ronaldo. This Midwich Elementary School was modeled after a famous movie where Arnold Schwarzenegger appears. If you guys can, if you guys know what the title of the movie is, let me know in the comments. <laughs> he was a teacher, and the school is a, the whole school's layout is exactly a reference to that. There's some bloody notes here. It's written in blood. Five o'clock darkness that brings the co the choking heat. Flames render the silence of wakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to Beckham Prey. That's right, Mr. Rios of Prey. You got it. <laughs> Kindergarten cop. <laughs> the androids are going wild. <laughs> So Ryusuf Ray got it, it's Kindergarten Cop. It's written in blood. 10 o'clock, Alchemy Laboratory. Gold in an old man's palm, the future hidden in his fist. Exchange for Sage's water. What the heck does that mean? A reference to Alchemy. It's written in blood, 12 o'clock. It plays with songs and sound. A silver guidepost is on tap and lost tongues. Awakening at the ordained order. Something about lies? Silver silver and tongue usually go with someone that's lying. A place with songs and sound. So something about a certain order awakens it. So let me check the first one out again. Darkness that brings the choking heat. Flame renders the silence. Awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon prey. I don't know what that means. So I'm gonna go into this door. I don't even know where I'm going, guys. What the? The picture of a door. Well, that's freaky. I don't know who drew it, but it's certainly in bad taste. Hang on bullets. A furnace? I think you're close, Mr. Red. I think it has something to do with a furnace. Maybe we need to go downstairs to the basement, maybe? This door is locked. 
Auditorium? Well, let's check it out. Let's see if there's an auditorium in this place. I don't even know. But this is the infirmary. I'm pretty sure it's the infirmary. Yep. Here we go. I can't see anything outside. Looks like there's some health items here, so that's good. We're gonna need them. The enemies are actually pretty hard in this game. I, I got killed halfway through the stream, and then the stream crashed. It was really freaky. <laughs> I'm gonna save the game in case I die. Let's see. Okay, there's nothing else in here. Let's head out. Where the heck am I supposed to go? There's the courtyard, the hall. Maybe that's the auditorium. The other door is locked, so uh, yep. It's probably my best bet. It's locked. This door is open. Oh my god. Enemies! It's the little kids at the beginning. These guys are called the mumblers. Because they mumble stuff like kids and they have little knives. And they like to they like to latch onto you with the little knives and they really hurt. Okay, I got that one. I gotta stomp on them or else they will get up again. This one's getting up again. Okay, it's down. Gotta kick him. Okay, they're done. Once they're dead, the radio stops emitting static. I'm looking around, investigating. I'm investigating right now. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest in this weird courtyard. But we are outside, because it's snowing. What the heck is this? Some kind of... Sewer grate? What the heck? What is this thing? The golden sun? What does that mean? A silver moon? Okay. Is this a door? The tower door is locked. It is. So I think you were right, Mr. Red. Something about a furnace. The hands are stopped at 10 o'clock. So this is connected to those notes, apparently. So we gotta we gotta make sure that clock is open. So I'm gonna check the notes again. Actually, I can check them on my inventory. Oh my God, I'm dying. Okay. I swear to God, you could check the the inventory. Guess not. Option. Okay. I swear you could check it. Apparently not. Okay. I'm gonna check those files again. Yep. That little furnace thing is connected to this this little puzzle here. So five o'clock, darkness brings the choking heat. Flame renders the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beck and pray. Okay. Alchemy laboratory. Okay. That's the 10 o'clock. So that's the first one we need to do because the clock is stopped at 10 o'clock. It's written in blood. 12 o'clock. Okay. That's the silver guidepost. All right. There's a silver uh, engraving and a golden engraving there. So. so I know what I'm supposed to do now. I remember now. Oops. Wrong door. But yeah, those little children-like monsters are called the mumblers. Sometimes they mysteriously respawn the enemies in this game. I think I'm going to switch to the hang on, guys. Let me see how many bullets I have. I got 70 bullets. Okay, that's not too bad. I'm going to reload because they're actually pretty hard. Another mumbler. 
Here's another one. Ah, they really, they like to like triple team you. I need to take care of them. Okay, reload. They're, these guys, they do considerable damage. They're, they're actually damaging me pretty bad, so I gotta kick them, otherwise they don't just stay down. Okay, nice. They're usually in pairs of two or three, up to three. And that's not good when they're together like that. Alright, I'm gonna head into... I'm gonna head into the storage room, see what the heck is going on in there. Okay, they took a lot of bullets. Okay, the lock is jammed. Alright. The door is jammed. This one's open. What is that? I've never seen this before. Are you guys seeing this? It looks like a child. And it's squeaking. It disappeared. Bellico? It disappeared. What the heck was that? It's like a ghost. What is this door? The lock is jammed. That was a weird ghost. That's pretty cool. Found some handgun bullets, so that's good. Oh, more mumblers. Run. There he is. There's more right behind me. Gotta stomp on him. There it comes. Oh my god! Okay, that was scary. <laughs> I don't want to get him too close. I'm gonna get him with the pipe. Start swinging! Harry's not the best fighter. He's the worst fighter ever in the video games. And survival horror. Oh my god, that thing is deadly. That attack right there? That's deadly. Stay down, you stupid thing. Oh yeah, on hard mode you're supposed to kick him twice. Otherwise, they wake up again. I'm probably dying already. Yep, I'm dying. Yeah, this game is hard. Okay, I'm in green again. Because they're going to kill me. They did kill me during the first half of the stream. Okay, I'm going to the hall. I'm going to go to the hall. locked where am I supposed to go okay any this way I think there's mumblers here yep I gotta take care of this one swing 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 ah dang it these monsters are annoying Oh my goodness with you. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. These things are the worst. Take that. I didn't even know Harry could do that. God. You guys are the worst enemies in the game. They don't let you move when they do that. Start swinging, start swinging. Yeah, these things are the worst. I'm dying. I'm dying again. I hate you. I'm getting... I'm getting creamed here. Gosh. Oh my god, I'm on red again. Yeah, getting him with the pipe is asking for a quick death. Yeah, the hang on is the best way to get him. Gotta kick him before they get back up again. They took so much health from me. It's not even funny.
Okay, there's the kindergarten cop reference right there. I believe that's the poster for it. Okay, cool. Oh my goodness gracious. What is this? There's nothing inside. Okay. Those mumblers are deadly. They are worse than the groaners and the air screamers. I'm gonna check this floor first and then I'll head into the other ones. Ah, the door is locked. Every time I say that, the door is locked. How many bullets do I have? I got 44, that's not good. Okay, if the mumblers, if there's three mumblers, I'm gonna have to take them out with my handgun. Yep, okay, door's locked. Locks jam. Lock is jam. It's unlocked. Cool. Hmm. Okay, that's easy access for me. That should be easier access for me. I better save. I better save. Luckily, the save point's right here. It's in the infirmary, I believe. Should be in here. Never mind, this is the creepy door with the two doctors on the wall. I don't understand what that's for. Where's the infirmary at? It's right here. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Don't wanna risk it. I'm gonna save in another one, just in case. Oh my god, without the flashlight, it's ridiculous. It's not even funny. Alright, I'm gonna check out the restrooms. Please, no more mumblers. Yes, there is a lot of mumblers here. <laughs> it's not good. At this, at this rate, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna head into the restroom. There's a mumbler here! There's gotta be a way, a better way to get in with this pipe. Luckily, it's only one. Stomp on him. Okay. There doesn't seem to be anything in here. Just a bunch of annoying mumblers. Okay, this one's open too. Okay. All right, what the heck is in here? There's nothing in here. That's weird. What's the whole point? There doesn't seem to be anything in here, guys. I swear there was something here. That's weird. Where the heck are we anyways? We're in the little girl's restroom, okay. Okay, mumblers are coming. Okay, now this is scary. <laughs> I'm gonna have to shoot them. They're just too hard. Missed. Okay, gotta kick them, gotta kick them. I guess I can take care of two of them with the gun, and then I'll take the care of the last one with my pipe. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Got 31 bullets left. There should be another mumbler over here. Yep, he's right there. Oh my gosh, stupid thing, man. 
I really do not like this thing. This is probably the worst enemy in the game. <sighs> this is not good. At this rate, I'm gonna die. It does stun him to a degree, but not really. He's getting back up again. Stomp him. There you go. Okay, that should take care of him. Unfortunately, they're gonna keep respawning. Okay, I'm gonna head into... I'm gonna go ahead and go up. I'm pretty sure there's mumblers up there. Okay, now this is super freaky. <laughs> But the enemies don't spot you as fast, luckily. Uh-oh, my radio's going off. Ah, that means they're here. The game is a lot scarier like this. I am playing on hard mode for those of you watching. Here it comes. I'm gonna head in, I'm gonna head in there. Oh my goodness gracious. There's too many of them here. Too many. I thought I, thought I saw like four. What's this over here? I don't know. Another mumbler. Ah! Hate you. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm definitely dead. This is ridiculous, guys. Ah! Okay, doors open. Oh, that was ridiculous. There's still water, no reason to take it. What the heck is that supposed to do with anything? Nothing useful on the shelf. There's something here. They're deadly. The Mumbras are deadlier than I've ever seen them. There's a chemical. Nothing unusual. What's the point of that? Okay, I have two health items only. This is not good. The label reads concentrated hydraulic acid found in the equipment room. I have no idea. Is there health items here? Glucose? No reason to take it. Nothing useful on the shelf. No health? Ah, that's not good. Those mumblers are everywhere. I'm gonna have to take him out with the handgun. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. I'm running low on bullets, too. There's one. Take him out. There you go. Stomp. Here they come. Okay. Go, 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 go. This is scary. This is actually really scary. Reload. Uh, I only got 18 rounds left. They're so hard to hit with this pipe. Stomp. Stomp, stomp, stomp. That one's getting up again. It's gonna get me. Oh, God, I hate you. Stupid creature. It's gonna get me again. Getting up again. Can't let it get up. God. Okay, I'm still kind of good. Okay. They're gonna respawn again. I need to head into that classroom. There's too many in there. There's a lot in that classroom. I'm gonna go into the chemistry lab, see if there's anything in there useful. I need health badly. I need bullets and health. Okay, it's open. What the heck is this place? What is that? Yes, bullets! Oh, thank God. Thank God for that, guys. Hold on a second. Give me just a second. Okay. 
Are there any health items? Apparently not. It looks like a hand. It looks like a person's hand. So let's check it out. A statue of an old man's hand. The fist is shot tight as if never let go. <clears throat> it looks like it's got some kind of old uh, ornament on it. I'm guessing this is supposed to be for that furnace door. I apologize, I am drinking some water. So, how do I get this open? I wonder. Let me see if I have anything in my inventory. I do, the chemical. It's concentrated hydraulic acid, so it's acid, so it should be able to break it loose. Can't use it here? Okay. Maybe if I get close? Yep, it worked. Awesome. It's acid. But it looks like a statue hand. Can I grab it? Yep, here's the gold medallion. So there's one down, we got one down. We need the silver medallion. Statue of hand, cool. Is there anything in here? Nothing useful. Nothing. Okay. We got a key item, so I'm pretty sure they're gonna come back again. The mumblers. Yep, they're here. I'm gonna have to dodge them. I think that's what I'm gonna start doing. Instead of fighting them. Open, open! It's locked. Of course it is. I hear more of them. If there's one of them, I can take them down. But if there's three, that's when it becomes a problem. I'm gonna take this one down. I gotta keep him on a stun lock. That way he doesn't move, because as soon as he moves, it's over, guys. They wait for the right moment. Stomp. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. There's another one over here. What the heck is that thing? It's that ghost again. My radio's going off. This is pretty cool. There is a mumbler here. Okay. Take that, you stupid thing. Take that. Take that. Good. Stump. The stump of heaven. Okay. That takes care of those two. So that's good. Library? I'm gonna try the library first. The rumblers the mumblers weren't too hard on this game. On on this area, my bad. It's open! Is there a rumbler in here? Sounds like it. There's a health item here. I need that, I need that. There's a rumbler hiding in here somewhere. They like to hide. Luckily, Harry can move while in attack mode. <laughs> what is this, Yu-Gi-Oh? I think it's right there. It's not coming out. Come on. Never mind. It's a ghost. It's a bunch of them. Oh my god. They're harmless though. They look like children with little tails. They squeak. I don't understand what's going on. No special books here. But they do squeak a lot. And then they trip. And then they just cease to exist. Yep, they cease to exist. But my radio's going crazy. Why? Okay, radio disappeared. That's weird. Nothing useful in here. I 
Enemies? There he is. What the heck is it doing? Got him. Got him. Swing, swing, swing. Stomp. Okay, that's it. There's only one of them. Okay. I see what they are. They're like a distraction. No need to read any of these books. No useful books. Nothing useful. <laughs> Great. Nothing useful in here. I could use a health drink. What's this door? It's unlocked. Okay, that's good. That's good because I can use that to dodge the mumblers on those wings. I gotta head into that classroom. I know I'm supposed to go in there. Um, I'm gonna head. I'm gonna head back through the way I came. Hopefully the mumblers don't come up again. I don't hear the radio. Check out the classroom. It's open. I'm hearing something. There's nothing here. What gives? Nothing useful in the desk drawer. Okay. This one's open. Mumblers again. Oh no. Get away from me. Is there a third one? Bullets! 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 Okay, I guess I had to uh, lose a limb to get some bullets, but they're coming. I think there's some in here too. No, there's not. Okay, good. Don't need to. Don't need to be in there, really. Keep forgetting where I'm supposed to go. I'm gonna try to see if I can unlock this door. Okay, it looks like it works. There's mumblers here. I'm gonna try my best to avoid them. It's open. Okay. I hear something. Warning. Don't, for take, don't forget to take all your possessions after using the lockers. Normal elementary school bulletin board. Nothing in particular here. What is that supposed to mean? There's a dog's poster. I'm hearing something over here rattling. Okay, I'm getting my hang on out, guys. Oh my god, I'm dying. A picture of a clock tower is engraved on the surface found in the chemistry lab. I'm guessing that's what's, that's the, the, the key to... Um, one of the puzzles was talking about alchemy. So... Chemistry is a form of alchemy, I believe. Well, it used to be anyways. There's something here. I can't see anything, though. I don't see anything. No running or playing in the locker room. Oh, there's something in here. <laughs> okay, let's see what it is. A cat? <laughs> something killed it. It sounded like something mauled it. That's weird. Nothing inside. <laughs> okay, never mind. That was really weird. Nothing useful in the locker either. What was the point of that?
Okay, that's weird. Mumbler started appearing. Need to get away from him. Gotta get him, gotta get him, gotta... That one's gonna get up again. Okay, I should be able to get him with the pipe now. I think I'm out of bullets. Reload. Okay. Swing. Swing. Swing, swing, swing. Okay, when they're getting up, they're weak. Okay. I just gotta keep my distance from them, or else I'm dead. I'm as good as dead. Okay, where to now? The music room? I'm gonna go into the music room. That's a nice camera angle. What the heck is this? It's a piano. It won't open. Ah, oh, it doesn't look locked though. What is this? It's written in blood. A tale of birds without a voice. First flew the greedy pelican. Eager for the reward, white, white wings flailing. Then came a silent dove flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove just to show that he can. A swan glides to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally comes out the crow, coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead to the silver reward? Okay, so this is the next the next key that we need and it's up there. I see it. So we need to get a hold of that somehow. And I'm guessing that the key reference is the keys to the piano. But the piano is locked. So I don't understand what I'm supposed to do here. I'm gonna head to the left, see what I can find. Maybe I can find a way to open that thing. It looks like the rumblers woke up again. The mumblers woke up. I call them rumblers. Ah, you stupid creature. My goodness. Swing, swing, swing. Start swinging. Gosh, they're so hard. Okay. How much health do I have? Okay, that's not good. Okay, looks like one respawned. That door's locked. I don't know why the piano's locked. If I go into the classroom, I'm gonna head back to the left side through the other end. That's what I'm gonna do. No mumblers, please. No more. Okay. Yep, I'm gonna head this way. Hopefully there's no more mumblers. I don't hear them. Gotta keep checking the map. There is mumblers here. I'm gonna try to dodge them. I don't think so. That was close. Go, 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 go. Okay, there's one coming. Problem is, I don't know if this, this door's open. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Go, go, go. There's, there's mumblers here. A lot of them. I'm looking for health items. Nothing useful. Looks like this classroom is good and safe for now. Okay, I can use these classrooms to my advantage to hide from the mumblers. There's gonna be some over here. I'm gonna try the restrooms. Okay, I'm going to the men's restroom. Doesn't seem to be anything here. <laughs> yep.
You guys hear that? It sounded like crying. I can't do anything here. He doesn't check anything. I heard crying. Let's go into the girls' room. See if we can find any health items. Mumbler! Two of them! <laughs> this is not good! Dang it. Hang on. Start shooting! Ah. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die! That's my last health item. You have got to be kidding me! Gosh! I don't have any more health items, guys. They don't go down. Okay. They're dead. Okay. Hold that for a couple of pair of bullets. That's not good. Those things are deadly. I don't remember them being this deadly. Okay. More mumblers. Gosh. I wonder, can I unlock this door? Yes, I can. Okay, nice. Okay, I should be able to escape from them. There was nothing in those classrooms. I'm gonna see if I can dodge him. He's right there. It's right there. Right there, right there. I need to find a way to open that piano. I think I'm supposed to go down there. I'm supposed to go down. I'm gonna go up and see what's going on up there. Okay, what is this weird door? The lock is jammed. This door can't be open. That's weird. Looks like it's the roof. Okay, don't need to come here then. I already know that I'm not supposed to come here. What if I go... I'm pretty sure I came from that way. I don't think I'm supposed to go down. I think I'm supposed to go this way. Run, 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 run! Oh, you piece of crap! <sighs> Gosh. Gosh, I hate those things. They're the worst. They latch onto you like leeches. It looks like that's the courtyard. Oh, I'm sorry about this. I gotta keep checking the map because I keep forgetting where I'm supposed to go. Okay, I'm going this way. It's so confusing. I'm heading down. I don't know what's down there, so we'll see. Bumbler! Go, 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 stop! Quickly! There's more! Yep, there's more! Have I been here? Okay, good. There's the tower. So maybe if I use the golden thingy, then I should be able to unlock this door. So let's get out of here. So that's good. We're doing good. Barely surviving. I have no health items anymore. The question mark is on reception. Okay, if I need to check the file. All right, infirmary. I'm heading into the infirmary. I'm gonna save. Uh, time. It's this one. Okay. I did make an additional save in case I die or something. In case I get stuck or something, because you you will get stuck in this game if you don't manage your supplies. I did get stuck once in Silent Hill 4, a long time ago I remember, it was in a certain enemy. I don't want to spoil it, uh, but I had no more health items, and it kept beating me. There it is. So gold goes in first, and then silver. Use. Oh my god, I'm already on red. <sighs> the golden sun. Okay. Now can I go inside? It's locked still. But the hands now are at 12 o'clock. Okay. 
So we're getting somewhere. Ah, I forgot that on horror mode he does that. I need to go to the question mark. Okay. I gotta check these. Okay, that's 10 o'clock. That's the alchemy, the old man's hand. Did it say 5 o'clock? I don't think it did. 12 o'clock. Okay. A place with songs and sound. Yep, this is the piano. A silver guidepost is on tap and lost tongues. Awakening at the Otain order. So I have to make sure I press the keys in order. That's what it says. That's basically what it means. So I need to head back into the... Uh, I'm going to check out the classrooms back there on the, on the right side. That's what I'm going to do. I already saved, so I should be good. Okay. I did hear a mumbler in here, so... A rumbler, my bad. Rumbler. It's open. Nice. There doesn't seem to be anything here. I'm gonna keep checking the desk. I think there used to be a health item around here. Nothing useful. Making it hard. This one's open. Mumblers. It's open. Oh my goodness! There's so many of them! It's not even funny. It's open. I don't know where I'm going. But there's bullets here. Get them, get them, get them! Get them and run! Run, 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 run! What's in here? Ah, oh, it's jam. Unlocked. Nice. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're getting somewhere. Now I have e easier access to the places, basically, now. So that's good. I don't have to deal with the mumblers as much. The rumblers, my bad. I can head in here and cut through there. Cut through the courtyard. I gotta head back to the piano. I'm gonna check the second floor. It's on the second floor. Okay. Okay, um, yep, go to the left, okay, got it. Go up. There's rum, there's mumblers there. If I take a left, I'll get to the piano, okay. Nice. The piano room's here. Yep. It's open. Awesome. Okay, so here comes the tricky part. Deciphering what the music notes mean. <laughs> That's gonna be the worst part. <laughs> this puzzle is actually really hard without any help, without any internet help anyways. So, the puzzle goes like this. A tale of birds without a voice. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward. What is a pelican? Is that a white bird? Yeah, white wings flailing. Yep, a pelican is white. Then came a silent dove, flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. So the dove flew beyond the pelican, so that's a white one as well. I believe a dove is a white bird. A raven is a black bird. A raven flies in flying higher than the dove. So the raven is higher than the dove, just to show that he can. A swan is white. A swan glides to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally, out comes a crow, coming quickly to a stop, yawning and then napping. The crow is black. Who will show the way? Who will be the key? Who will lead to the silver reward? Okay, this is actually kind of hard. Okay, let's start deciphering it from the beginning. Without any internet help. So, I gotta press first the pelican first flew the greedy pelican okay okay pelican and then the dove okay so the pelican is greedy it was already flying high there's some blood on some of the keys 
Does this mean anything? Check the piano. Yes. So the pelicans white and the black keys are the black birds. So the, the white birds are the white keys. Oh, gosh. How do I do this? Let me see. Um, the white bird flew as high as he could. He was eager. So it's this one. Okay, that's good. We got it. So that's the pelican. Then in came the dove flying beyond the pelican. I think it's this one. I am beyond. It's not that one. No, it's not that one. It's, it has a certain uh, noise. Like, boom. That's the first one. There's the, there's the dove. So that's the dove. Okay. <laughs> this is hard. <laughs> So I know where the pelican and dove is. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove. So it's white, first key, last key, and then black key, and then white. So it goes like this. Maybe not. Okay, is that one? All right, so that's the raven right here. So first key, last key. So pelican, dove, raven. Pelican, dove, raven, and then swan. The swan glides to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. So white, white, black, white. White, white, black, white. Okay. It's white, white, black, white. Oh my goodness gracious, with me. White, white, black, white, 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 black, white, black. He came to a stop. White, white, black, white, black. Okay. I don't know the other one next to a bird. Hold on a second. Let me try let me try it again. Okay, so I got it wrong. If you get it right, if you get it right, the keys are gonna sound like buttons. Okay. Okay. Oh my god, this is more complicated than I thought. White. Okay. White, white. Oh, that's the wrong one. Nope. Nope. Okay, so it's white, white, then black. Not that one. Nope.
Okay, it's that one. One of those tres. White, white, black, white. Next to another bird. No, it's not that one. One, two. Not that one. And then I think, I think it's this one. No, it's not. Black, white, and then next to another bird. Okay, this puzzle is hard, especially without any help. First flew the greedy pelican, eager for the reward. So that's white. 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 Then came a silent doe flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. First flew the greedy pelican. Okay. Then came a silent doe flying, as hard, flying beyond the pelican as far as he could. A raven flies in flying higher than the dove. Okay. Okay, so the crow is the end, right? White, white, black, white, black. Okay. So first... Okay. First is that one. First, I think the raven is the part that I'm missing. I keep forgetting about the raven. What does the raven do? Okay, okay. The raven is, is, is above the dove. I'm supposed to press the keys in order of the birds. So the birds are white and black. I gotta press them in order. So it should be white, white, black, white, black. And it's the dove. Okay. It's not good. Nope. Okay. Okay. I think I found it. And then it's this one. I got it wrong. Okay. Then it's that one. Then I need to pick white again. Next to another bird. Got it wrong again. Not that one. Nope. Oh my god, I'm terrible at this. <laughs> and then it's this one. Which one is it? Wow. Okay.
No. It's crazy. This puzzle's hard. <laughs> Without any internet help. I know I can figure it out. I think I've done it before. Greedy pelican. A pelican is white. A dove is white, right? Eager for the white, white wings flailing. Then came a silent dove. Flying beyond the pelican. As far as he could. A raven flies in, flying higher than the dove. He flied in. Higher than the dove, just to show that he can. A swan glides to find a peaceful spot next to another bird. Finally comes out a crow, coming quickly to a stop and yawning and then napping. Okay, so the crow's at the end. The crow's at the end. At the very first, my bad, at the very first. Okay, I think I get it now. So it's white, white, black. White, white, black, white, black. First came in immediately. Okay, I get it, I get it. Okay. Let me try it, let me try it. No, it's not that one. Then his fly is as much as he could. Nope. It's this one. Okay, that's 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 the dove. Then the 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 crow did that. Now here's the tricky part. Where's the next white one? That's what I'm trying to see. Ah, I hate you. I almost have it. I feel like I almost have it. Then it's this one. Then it's this one. Then it's this one. No. Not. Do any of these work? No, they don't. The only one that works is the one in the corner. And then now it's white. That's the problem. This is the raven. This is the very the the, the big raven one. Or maybe it's the other way around. Yeah, it's got to be the other way around. Okay, maybe it's this one. Then it's this one. Then it's this one. Okay. Okay. Okay, so the, the pelican came in first. Okay, I get it now. I think I get it. Then it's this one, and then it's this one. And then it's this one. And then it's this one. Oh my goodness, I'm so close. No. First came in the pelican, eager for the reward. I got it! Awesome! Awesome, I got it. I knew the crow was at the end because he symbolizes death. The end. So that's how I figured it out. All's awesome. going. Sorry about that, guys. That puzzle is actually pretty hard. I figured it out. No, no Wikipedia here. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Mr. Red. Appreciate it. How long did that take me to figure it out? It took me like 30 minutes, I think. So we got the other part of the puzzle. Awesome.
A picture of a clock tower is engraved on the surface found in the music room. Okay, that's a it's a tricky puzzle. It's a very tricky puzzle. I like it. It was really hard. Very tricky. Cool. Let's get out of here. We should be able to go into that furnace now. That's weird. The enemies disappeared. So yeah, we should be able to get out of here now. Okay, yep, there's the clock tower. See ya. Don't want to be ya. Okay, never mind. I spoke too soon. Get out of here. Get out of here. Of course you guys are. Let's stay away from them. Okay, I don't want to have to do that again, so I'm going to save. It's kind of dangerous here. Yes. Ooh, too dark. Thank you, Mr. Red, for still being here. I appreciate you guys. That's not good. That's not good. <sighs> run, 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 run. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was ridiculous. That was close. Okay, it goes here. So we should be able to open this place and see what the heck is going on. No health items. It worked. A silver moon? Awesome. I'm guessing we can go inside now? The song is getting creepier. It looks like the tower is still locked. Stop that five. What the heck are we supposed to do now? That's right. One of the puzzles was talking about one of the the on the reception desk. There was a um, a note talking about the times. These creatures weren't here before, so I don't know what the heck are they doing here now. Gotta check them. Gotta check them really quickly, cause I don't know what I'm doing. They're coming in. They're coming. Darkness that brings the choking heat. Flames render the silence, awakening the hungry beast. Open time's door to beckon prey. I don't know what that means. More mumblers. There's, there's like a place I haven't been to yet. The rooftop. Actually, there is one place. The basement. Okay. That's where I'm supposed to go, guys. How do I get down there? Of course, it's the other way around. Okay. Okay, I got an idea. Run. Run, 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 run. Looks like I gotta head into the basement. I don't know why, but I don't know how that's got anything to do with the basement. Here they come. Ah, uh, hate you. These things are the worst. In the right spot yes I am is there anything in here nothing inside so it was like a hell drink or something well there's a creepy door here that's for sure what is this the door is locked and jammed okay oh looks like we gotta go in here I don't know why but okay um 
What is this place? The valve is tightly shut. I can't move it. Don't know what's it for. Better leave it alone. There's a notice here. Okay. There is a switch. You want to press it? Sure. I don't know what for, but... Okay, that was a weird monster noise. I'm guessing this is what the monster thing was talking about. Because it sounds like a monster. It sounded like a monster. The boiler is working. So maybe that door is open now. I don't understand what's going on. But we got the boiler of the high of the elementary school uh, on. I'm guessing I'm going to go and check that door again to see if it's open. Should be the clock tower. Okay. Here they come again. Run, 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 run. Okay, I'm not gonna save. In case they kill me. Ugh. I have no health items. Stupid things. Yeah, I'm dying. I'm on red. That's not good. Song's getting creepier. Yes, it's open. Okay, I don't know what the boiler's got something to do with that, but... I don't know where this is taking us. Let's find out. I'm hearing a really weird siren. What the heck is this place? I don't have a map for this place. I don't know what the heck is going on. Are those body parts? They look like body parts. It says keep out. What the heck is this place? This is underneath the elementary school. And now I'm going up? I just went down and then now I'm going up? No map. I don't know where I'm going. I don't remember where I'm going. This game is actually very long. It's raining now. It's raining. Have I been here before? What is that, Mark? Okay, looks like I can move now. Press the map. What the... Uh, I'm still in the courtyard? But it looks like I haven't checked any of the rooms. What the heck? The clock tower is right there. I just came from the clock tower. Okay. That's confusing. So we went inside the clock tower, we went down, and then we came from the clock tower. And we're still in the, on the elementary school, for some reason. But now it looks like different, it looks way different now. It's raining. I'm checking to see if there's any items around. But yeah. It looks like Harry marked a question mark on the map for some reason because he doesn't know what that mark is. But I don't think that's a good mark. I don't think that's good news for us. I think that mark is uh, not good. It's not a good sign. So I'm going to go ahead and look for reception again because the reception is right there, but it says that I haven't been there. So let's go. It's locked. Of course. Of course it is. They're making me go around. Mumblers. Mr. Palma, you think it's the seal of Metatron? I don't know what's going on, but I do know that the enemies are tougher in here. 
Health items. Handgun bullets. We need those. And body parts. Everywhere. For some reason. A huge fan is rotating. If approached carefully, I may be sucked in. Looks like the po the posters have been twisted with some kind of face, but it doesn't say anything about it. And it looks like there's some lettering on them. That's weird. I can't read it. PS1 graphics. But I did get a health item out of the place, so that's good. I'm gonna use it. Otherwise, I'm gonna die. I got 60 rounds now for my handgun. I do need the shotgun as soon as possible. Go, 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 go. Oh, yes, here we go. I hate those things. They're called the, uh, the creepers. It's basically a, a giant roach. It's like a giant roach. They're annoying. They're kind of annoying because you can't see them. But yeah, they're called the creepers. Because they creep around. There's one right there. You gotta stomp on them in order for them to die for good. Otherwise, they get it back up again. The whole place is completely twisted now. This is still the school. There's no exit. What the heck was the point of this? Apparently nothing. Those things damage me. They they bite you. They like to bite you. Oh my goodness. They put me on red. That's not good. That's not good. I'm fighting for my life here. There's a door there. Okay. Anything in here? Apparently not. What is this? Some kind of a door? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can unlock this door. Yep, I got it. Okay, that's good. In case I need to escape or something. Anything in here? There doesn't seem to be anything here. Just a bunch of nasty stuff. A bloody locker. I can't check it. I'm gonna check them. Sometimes some health items are hiding in the game. And I don't understand what this is on the table, but I'm gonna take it. There's a picture card. Take it. Yes. Cards are scattered. Mr. Palma, can you figure out why there's poker cards on the table? It's a reference to another fairy tale. Off with her head! That's all I'm gonna give you. That's the only hit you guys are gonna get. Cause this one's kinda easy, I'm gonna check it. A rectangular card with a picture of a key. Found in a desk in the classroom. That's weird. No idea what that's for, but okay. Looks like I have to pass through the classrooms in order to get through, so I'm heading in there. Ah, uh, mumblers. I keep calling them mumblers. Oh my god, oh my god! Run, run, run! This jammed? You've got to be kidding me! Run, 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 run! I have no health items. There's one right there. Oh my goodness, I'm scraping by. Okay, nice. This thing is some kind of door? It's locked. That's a weird door. Okay, nice. Looks like I made it to the infirmary, so there should be some health items there. There's enemies in here, though. Run, 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 run. Cool. There you go, Mr. Red. Good job. Alice in Wonderland. That's why there's poker cards on the table. Do you know why? You know why Alice in Wonderland is referenced here? Does anybody know? Let me know in the chat. 
There's a health item here. Good. I need it. Fortunately, it was only one. Did I save? Yeah, I did. I think I did. Oh, heck yeah. Oof. I am so happy. I've never been so glad. To see a first aid kit. Just gotta watch him. I gotta unlock those doors. I need to take care of these uh, mumblers. Turn, turn. Are you kidding me? He missed all the shots. Stump, 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 stump. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna use the pipe against this one because it's only one of them. I'm about to die. Swing, swing, swing. Why don't you go down? They're definitely a lot harder. In normal mode, they're joke. They're a joke in normal mode. There's another one over here. Yep, there he is. I gotta take care of him. It waited till I swung. It waits. Cool. I didn't know they could do that. Waits for me to be vulnerable and then it attacks. Stomp. Okay, it's dead. <sighs> that thing probably damaged me pretty well. I'm gonna check the lobby real quick. Looks like there's something in there. Okay, there's a lot of them here. I don't know how or why. <sighs> that one's... That one, like, swung its little knife. It's an ampule! I need this! Okay, an ampule is health, so that's good. Just what I needed. That can give you back all of your health. I'm gonna save again, just in case. Because I got that ampule, so that's good. That's good. That thing is like a green and red herb combined, basically, like in Resident Evil. Okay, let's see here. I need to unlock that door. Okay, good. I forgot about the backwards uh, thingy. Harry does an awkward backwards stomp. So maybe I could use it to my advantage. Okay, we're, 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 we're doing good. We're doing really good. Okay, I got, I'm gonna head into reception and see what the heck is going on in there. So yeah, this is reception, guys. This is the reception on the on the on the elementary school. There's spray cans everywhere, hang on bullets. Thank you. There doesn't seem to be anything in here. Okay, this is pretty cool. So the picture that was here before, it actually became real in this world. It's got the doctors there. What is this door? If it is, there's no keyhole or even a knob. If I push it, it moves a bit, but it certainly won't open. What's this? In the center of the door is a horizontal slot. What is it for? That's weird. I have no idea. But these are creepy doctor corpses, basically. They look like co corpses. I'm gonna head to the right, to the left, my bad. Wait a minute. Can I open that door? No, I can't. Okay. It's locked. What the heck, did I miss something? I 
It looks like I missed that area over there. Right here. Dang it. I don't want to head back that way anymore. I don't have to. I can go through the courtyard. Okay. Nice. Luckily, there's no mumblers here. Or rumblers, my bad. I keep saying that. Ah, there's some here. There's one right there, right behind me. Ah, you, they're a lot harder this time. It's locked. Oh my goodness. There's storage right there. Okay, cool. What the heck is this place? I don't understand what this room is, but there's a rubber ball. I guess I'll take it. There's a bunch of a headless doll is stuck to the wall. Fluorescent pink rubber ball used by children. A rectangular car with a picture of a key found on a desk in a classroom. Maybe one of these could work for that door. I'm certainly in a dead end right now and there's a... Uh, Mumblers outside. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. I had to take care of him. Okay, I'm gonna go back to that classroom again because that's the only place I can go and I don't have anything else so I don't want to risk it those mumbler those uh, mumblers are really hard Okay, going back to the classroom Not good, not good, not good. Oof. Maybe that was the wrong spot. Where is that door? Okay. I forgot where that door was. Okay, I think it was in reception. Yeah, it was in reception. I went the wrong way. I'm gonna check the door again. Okay, it looks like the car goes in there. I can tell the little slot. Should have done that from the beginning. That's a weird way to open a door. Okay, I need to reload. 15, and then I got 31 rounds, okay. Not too bad, let's head in there. I don't hear anything. I see blood though on the walls. Okay, there they are, I hear them now. I hear something weird. Oh, it's a creeper. They sound really weird. Like lizards. It's that giant cockroach. It's on the other end. I can unlock this door now. Okay, cool. I went into the restroom. A lot of paint cans everywhere. There's blood on the sink. There's nothing there. 
It looks like the enemies came back again. There's nothing here. Nothing, no health items, nothing. This, this game is brutal. Okay, that was weird. Thought I heard enemies. What is this? I'm in the men's restroom. Bunch of blood everywhere. Okay. Well, that's one hell of a sight. He has a shotgun. Okay, awesome. Unfortunately, it's a Sonoff shotgun, not my favorite, but it'll work. A hanging body, why would somebody... There's something written here. Letter Ryan, the monster lurks. What is that supposed to mean? The monster lurks. Mr. Red, if you're still watching, if anyone's watching, do you guys know what the reference to this is? It's for another movie. I believe the creator of The Shining... Um, no, the creator of the movie of The Shining... Did, did a follow-up movie after that. So it's that movie. There's a scene where somebody has a shotgun and does something with it. I believe this is what it's referencing to. Nobody knows what that corpse is, so nobody knows who he is. Even I don't even know. Let me know in the chat if you know the title of the movie. More mumblers. And then I think I hear some creepers, too. Teacher's room. Okay, I'm heading into the teacher's room. Gosh, those things are annoying. They're fast, too. I barely reacted to that one. That was a creeper. What the heck is this room? At least I got some handgun bullets out of it. Can't use the phone. So the phones aren't working. It's Johnny? You're pretty close. Do you remember that general that's the, that yells at his, uh, his soldiers? What is your measure malfunction, young man? Was Cheryl's was I know it where is she Cheryl no it's a uh, full metal jacket the general was so mean to one of them that he uh, he took a shotgun and did what that bathroom was basically it, it recreated the scene here with that soldier he took a moss pump and then he said goodbye <laughs> phone's not working But yeah, the shotgun is from the Evil Dead. You are correct, sir. The specific shotgun is from the Evil Dead. Unlocked. Nice. Oh my goodness gracious. More of them.
They try to get me with the knife. I hear a creeper. Where? I think it's on the other end, so I don't have to worry about it. There's a health item here. That's good. We need that. I think so. Private Pile? I think so. I think that's what his name was. I don't remember his name. But yeah, he's the one that I uh, used that moss pump. Run, 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 run! Oh my goodness, I barely dodged those guys. Hello, how's it going, Sir Shikan? Sir Chikagam? Sir, sir Senshi Kagame? I'm sorry, I apologize. The uh, font is a little hard to read. I appreciate you being here tonight. Let's see here. I'm gonna check on Twitch real quick. For some reason, his his comment didn't come in. Senshika game? That's a pretty cool name. I like it. There it is. Love to see someone who's still playing Silent Hill. Of course. Anytime. <laughs> I will be playing all of them uh, uh, in order. So since Halloween starting, the month of Halloween starting, um, I started with the original Silent Hill. Thank you very much for being here. Much appreciated. You are the best. I wish I could give you a gold star, but I am a pretty new uh, Twitcher and YouTuber. So I am, I haven't played the game in a very long time, so I don't remember most of things. Okay. I'm gonna go into the lab equipment room. I am playing on hard mode, Senshi. So for simplicity case, I'm gonna call you Senshi. Senshi Ka Game. Okay, yep. Senshi Kagami. Okay, I can see your full name now. The lock is jammed. The chemistry lab. Okay. I'm going in there. The lock is jammed. Alright. The lock is jammed. Oh no, that one's locked. I'm so used to that that it's not even funny. This one's locked too. So I can't do anything here. I'm heading back then. I am playing on hard mode, so... Uh, I'm playing on PS3, but it is a PS1 game. Senshi Kagami. I'm playing on PS3 right now. Okay, I'm trying to find a way out, so I gotta head into the classroom. That's what I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna try to sneak my way through. I hear a creeper. Ah, I hate you. They're the worst. These mumblers are the worst. I'm barely scraping by. Oh yes, shotgun bullets. They look like candy. Yeah, you can play the PS1 game on, on PS3. I have the uh, the Uncharted Edition PS3. Came out back in like 2012, 2011. I am using a game capture card. That's the only way I can grab the footage. Mr. Red, thank you very much for being here tonight. You've been the best fan. I am cross-streaming Senshi Kagami. I'm cross-streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Mumblers! Ah. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead! I'm dead! Reload! 
Run. Run, 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 run. Turn. Turn, Carrie, turn. <laughs> Don't do this to me. Where is the mumbler? Okay, there it is. Okay, that was crazy. That was insane, guys. Okay, I'll call you Kagami then. That's pretty cool. Thank you very much, everyone, for being here. I'm literally on the edge of dying every time. I did die at the first half of the stream. They got me really good. They're pretty hard, if I'm not careful. All right, so what I'm going to do is, um, let's see here. Third floor. Okay, so yeah, this one's pretty good. There we go. Okay, so what is my health looking like? Okay, I'm looking pretty good. I still don't know what the rubber ball does, but I guess I'll figure it out eventually. Okay, I gotta go back here. The camera is not helping me. It's not being my best friend. I saw something. Something was coming towards me. Creepers! Go in there, go in there! Ah! All right, I'm taking care of them once and for all. Stomp, stomp, stomp. They get up really quickly. Stomp. Stomp, 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 stomp. No, it's not. I actually know a lot about it, but I haven't played this game in years since I was a kid. So I don't remember much of anything. What the heck is that? That looks like a corpse. Okay, nothing useful. Oh my goodness, I hear something. I better get ready, I don't remember what it is. But I hear something. Hey, it's the room from where that cat first came out. Now it's all twisted. Okay, so where the cat came from, now it's full of blood. That's not good. Oh, we gotta open it, I guess. There's nothing in there. What gives? <laughs> I know, I know. That's a that's a that's a low blow. That's a low joke. <laughs> It is Halloween season, so <laughs> better get used to it, guys. But there is nothing inside. What gives? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> there was an actual corpse in here. A body slumped over. He dropped something. I hear creepers in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear them. I got a key, but no idea who this body is, and we never get to know. Just some random body. I'm gonna check that key real quick. The key to the school second floor library reserves, picked up in the locker room. Well, now I know where I'm going. I'm going to the second floor. Kagami, did I get you? Let me know if I got you. Let me know, guys, if I got you. <laughs> it's dear old Bonnie. Okay, I'm gonna head into the music room. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I hear the creepers though. I hear them. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Red. Wink, wink. <laughs> Won't do it again. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a heart attack. <laughs> 
Fully surprised, Kagami? <laughs> that's good, that's the whole idea. <laughs> uh, I'm having fun with you guys. It's jam. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I need to go to the second floor. Alright, I'm, I'm heading back there. I'm gonna head back here. How many bullets do I have? I don't even remember. It's locked. How is this possible? It looks like I'm gonna have to go... Okay, I get it now. That's what the key's for. Alright. Alright, gotta head this way. Creeper! Creepers! Oh, not the floor, not the roof! The roof! Don't go to the roof! Oh my god! There's so many of them! Why is there so many of them? Huh? <laughs> Bullets! Bullets, grab him! Go, 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 go! Run! Run, slow poke! Which Silent Hill games I played for the first time? It was, uh... <laughs> um, the Silent Hill that I haven't played is Downpour. I haven't played Silent Hill Downpour yet. So I'm eventually gonna get to it. Kagami. <laughs> the F was that. <laughs> Trying to scare you guys. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna head into... Okay, I need to head into the equipment lab, I believe. Right here. Okay. Luckily, there's no enemies here. There's no enemies here. I apologize if I keep checking the, the map. I keep forgetting where I'm supposed to go. I think it's this way. Yes, the library reserve key. Okay. Enemies? Health! Awesome! Yes! I am so happy. So happy, guys. Finally found some health. No useful books. Dead doctors everywhere. What's this? There's some kind of brook here. The Monster Lurks is the book's title. Let's check it out. Chapter 3, Manifestation of Delusions. Poltergeists are among these negative emotions like fear. Worry or stress manifest into external energy with physical effects. Nightmares have in some cases been shown to trigger them. However, such phenomena do not appear to happen to just anyone. Although it's not clear why Adolescents, especially girls, are prone to such occurrences. Do you guys know why, for those of you watching, why this specific book is here? The title of the chapter is called The Monster Lurks for a reason, and then it mentions that adolescent girls are the ones that tend to be... to have a type of psychic power. And according to that book... According to that book, the worst... Emotions are what trigger that negative energy to manifest. Nightmares have been shown to cause that kind of stress. So when you have a nightmare, it can create negative energy. If you're a very special person when it comes to psychic energy. If you're psychic sensitive, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So the reason why that book is there is because I think the monsters are linked to that negative energy. I think that's where the monsters come from. I think that's my theory. That's where the monsters are come from. They're actually they're actually a mass of negative energy. 
Psychic energy. But that's all I'm gonna say for now. Yeah, it's uh... It's actually very scientific. <laughs> There's a lot of theories of what the heck the monsters are. You ever wonder where the monsters came from? There's another book here. Here in this, the hunter armed with a bow and arrow said, I will kill the lizard. But upon meeting his opponent, he held back taunting. Who's afraid of a reptile? At this, the furious lizard hissed. I'll swallow you up in a single bite, the lizard said. Then the huge creature attacked. Jaws open wide. This is what the man wanted. Calmly drawing his bow, he shot into the lizard's gaping mouth. Effortlessly, the arrow flew, piercing the defenseless maw. And the lizard fell down dead. This is from an old fairy tale I remember reading it as a kid. Interesting. So, for those of you who don't know... I think that book actually comes from Harry Mason's uh, psyche. I think a part of Harry Mason is in the other world, a really tiny part. So I'm guessing that's a manifestation of his memories. That's my theory. That's why that lizard, that's why it's talking about that lizard in that book. Apparently Harry, uh, he used to read it when he was a kid. So I'm pretty sure it was a part of him. I don't have any proof, but that's just speculation. Okay, I'm gonna go into the classroom. Actually, I'm gonna check this out first. See if there's any enemies in here. Apparently not. There isn't. Your first Silent Hill is Origins? You deleted the game before I met the nurse? <laughs> then why is that? Why you deleted it? That game was pretty good. I'm definitely doing that one. That one was one of my favorites. I don't want to spoil it though. I don't want to spoil it for the people that are watching or are going to watch it in the future. I remember when that, first, that game first came out. It was back in 2000... I think it was 2009 or 10. 2010 I think. 2000, yeah. I remember it looked a lot like Resident Evil 4. A copy of Resident Evil 4. Okay, everything seems to be locked. Why is that? It's locked. Did I get anything useful from all of that? I got the ball, but I don't know what that's for. <laughs> Silent Hill Origins makes you scared. It is a pretty freaky game. It's actually, it's not as scary as the other ones, but it is pretty freaky, especially if you play by yourself. The reason why these games aren't so freaky right now is because I'm playing them with you. <laughs> I'm basically showing you the ropes. But if you play them by yourself at night... How's it going, Travis Moknahaf? Moynahan. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for dropping by. I am glad to hear that. It scared me a lot as a kid and it still does to this day. But yeah, Kagami. Uh, Silent Hill 2 is the one that scares me. Uh, Silent Hill 4 and 2. If I play him too much, I get weirded out. Thank you, Mr. Travis. Thank you for being here. I'm trying to figure out where I'm supposed to go. So I apologize if I'm looking at the map like crazy. Where am I supposed to go? trying to figure it out do you guys know on the chat let me know in the chat if you guys know where I'm supposed to go because I don't remember okay I think I got it I think I got it okay have I gone down here <laughs> is that right Kagami I played it when I was Bumbler. Stomp, stomp, stomp. Oh my god, there's another one! And a creeper! 
Go, 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 go. You played the game when you were nine years old? I played it when I was, um... <clears throat> I was 16. So you were, you, were a, you were a little kid. So I'm surprised you played it. I will be playing Silent Hill Origins really soon. Um, let's see here. This is not good. Creepers! Gosh, I hate these things. These things are the worst. They are deadly in this game. I'm definitely on the right track. I'm definitely on the right track because I've been seeing a lot of different enemies now. I'm seeing tougher enemies. I feel like I'm lost. Run, 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 run! I don't think I've ever ran so much in Silent Hill, Kagami. I've never ran so much away from the enemies like this. I hear him. Where the heck am I supposed to go? Um, it's the it's the roaches. It's those uh, roaches. They're called the creepers. I need to, I need to find a save point because if I die, I don't want to have to redo all that again. Okay, thank you, Travis. Female restroom 2F. Is that what you need to explore next? Looks like you need to get through the classrooms on the second floor near the north side. I do know you need to get to the boiler room to the boss. All right, thank you very much, Travis. Thank you very much, if you can still hear me. My stream last boss being uh, stupid. I keep forgetting to turn that off. So I apologize for that. The, ch the little children are called mumblers. They're actually called mumblers. Thank you very much. I'm going to follow what you said. The female restroom on the second floor. Okay. I'm gonna see if I can do that. I need some health, cause I'm dying. That sh I should be okay with that. If they get too crazy, I'm gonna pull out the shotgun. You see, he mentioned the second floor. Okay, let me check the second floor. On the female's restroom. You're right. You're right, Travis. Okay, now I know where I'm supposed to go. Thank you very much. I'm supposed to go into the girls' restroom. It's some kind of portal. It's some kind of weird portal. I did notice it. I don't know how it works, but I think it's some kind of portal. Kagami Silent Hill Origins has a portal-based system like this. It's pretty cool. Just wait and see. Okay, I should be on the other side now, see? Cool, thank you, thank you, thank you. I was lost. I hear a creeper. I'm gonna pull out the shotgun. I think there's gonna be a bunch of them there. There's only six shells, never mind. I don't wanna use those, I need them for the boss. That's right, there is a boss. Did I go into the right place? Yeah, there's a bunch of bullets here. <laughs> that's good. That's that's good, Kagami. That's good that you watch all of them. You should definitely go back to play them. But I found a bunch of good stuff in here, in this creepy restroom full of blood. Where to? That's weird. Definitely weird. OK, 
Okay, I'm just checking some stuff out real quick. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. I'm gonna see what I can do. Okay, definitely, it's definitely the second floor to where I need to be. Okay, here we go again. Okay, okay. I need to go to the second floor. Okay. All right, yep. I know where to go now. Uh, they attack you in groups, like, they don't even give you a minute. Like, if one of them is grabbing a hold of you, the other one can attack you too. It's ridiculous. They can chain attack. I didn't even know they could do that. Okay, boom, boom. Classroom, classroom. Okay, I need to go up to the second floor. I need to dodge this mumbler. Ah! Hate you! They are everywhere! You don't want to play this game? You want to make this game? <laughs> that sounds like a good idea. I do want to make a survival horror game myself too, based in Mexico. I am Mexican, just for you guys watching. <laughs> Nobody does survival horror in Mexico, so I really, I really want to get to that with PS1 graphics. Okay, those two doors are locked. Okay. Okay, boom, boom, boom. Okay, go to the classrooms. All right, got it. Got it, got it. I need a health item, otherwise I'm gonna die. Nope, oh, see ya guys. No trick-or-treating tonight. Jesus. Why is there so many? Why is there so many of them? Go, 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 go! I've never seen so many. Creeper? Creepers? <laughs> Nasty thing. Silent Hill Tijuana, and that is exactly where I wanted to put it, Mr. Travis. Somewhere close to Tijuana. You know the deserts, right? The Arizona desert, the Mojave wasteland? Kind of like that. That's probably where it's going to be set. Yeah, I think they want a, a little much... They want a little too much hugging. I don't like the hugging. It stabs. <laughs> it feels like it stabs. All right, I'm getting close. I'm getting close, very close. Yep, right there. It's locked. What the heck? What the heck am I missing? What am I missing? I need to go to the first floor again. This is an this is crazy. I'm lost. Ah, there's so many of them down there. It's not even funny. Okay, I'm gonna check them out one more time. The locker room is in there. That door is locked. That door is locked. It's crazy. Okay. Gosh, I hate those things. They're the worst. Go, 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 go. Gosh, I can't see him. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die, guys. If I go in there, it's locked. 
Both classrooms are locked. I have no choice but to go to the first floor again. Hola, perro sangriento. Hola, que pro. Mucho gusto. You have got to be kidding me. Están bien difíciles, pro. Otra vez me ando muriendo. Siempre llegas cuando me estoy muriendo, pro. I do have some users that speak Spanish, so I apologize. I do trans try to translate to the best of my ability. Okay, I'm going in there. I'm going in there. Yes. Okay, I made it. Okay, mumbler. Nunca has visto este juego, perro sangriento. Muy mal. Estoy perdido, perro sangriento. No sé dónde ir. I don't know where to go. I basically told him I don't know where to go. Okay, it's this way. Okay, it's this way. I see it. It's raining. Está lloviendo, perro sangriento. <laughs> sí, siempre llegas al mal momento. Okay, I'm gonna try this one more time. Still locked. Okay, qué bueno, perro sangriento. Qué bueno. Okay, the room is locked. The room is locked. I need access to the roof. That's where I'm supposed to go. Okay. Okay, that's where I'm supposed to go, guys. I'm supposed to get to the roof. Oh my goodness. I'm supposed to get to the roof. Okay, I found the way out. I found the way out. Sorry about that. I need to get to the roof. Tengo que subirme hasta arriba. Sí, apenas estoy en la escuela. ¿Cómo ves? Desde las 10. Okay. I know where to go. I know where to go. I know where to go. Okay, ya sé dónde ir. Ya sé dónde ir. Tiene mucho que no lo juego, pero sangriento. Hold on. Uh... It says there are a group of bullies who bully a girl because she freak at the end they end up being mumblers I guess but yes uh, you're actually absolutely right um, so the little girl that we're looking for for those of you watching did you already do the rubber ball on the water drainage with the key falls to the courtyard no I haven't I started remembering that that's on the roof thank you very much Travis that's where I'm going uh, voy para el techo perro sangriento so Kagami um, yes, the there are there are manifestations of children bullies. That's what the mumblers are. That's why they sound like children. I'm gonna have to use the ampule, or else I'm dead. I'm gonna head to the roof and do the drainage puzzle. I remember now. Up, up, up. Oof, that was close. Okay. I'm on the roof. I should be getting to the roof now. Okay. So yeah, I'm getting close. Gotta head up. Si, sí, vamos para arriba, vámonos. Vamos a acelerar. Yep, I'm on the right place. I can't believe I forgot about this. Pero ya estoy acá arriba. Pero si ¿sí sabías que esos monstruos son niños, son representaciones de niños, perro sangriento. Por eso suenan como niños. Se llaman los mumblers en inglés. Okay, there's blood here, so we're in good trail. We're in the good trail here. There's the mark of Samael. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, but it's right there. Ahí está la marca de Samael, el demonio. There's a drainage ball, nothing unusual. Okay, there's something there with blood. I gotta check it. Si, sí, son es lo que son, perros sangrientos. Son niños que se aprovechaban de las niñas. Eran como bullies. There's a hanging key. It's just out of the reach. Okay. So I gotta turn the valve. I'm gonna go ahead and open it.
Ahí va la agüita, la agüita como finita. It drains into the wrong hole. Maybe I should plug it up somehow. Ay, se me olvidó. <laughs> no pudiste dormir por varias noches. Yo tampoco. Yo tampoco. Voy a jugarlos todos, perro sangriento, para octubre. That's right, Kagami. It's supposed to be an origin story. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that rubber ball thanks to Travis. Thank you very much. I completely forgot about that. Put the ball in the hole. <laughs> but yeah, para eso es esa bolilla. <laughs> Toma agua. <laughs> he said drink water. That's what he said. <laughs> it's a meme in my channel. Anything goes wrong, we say Toma agua. Drink water. All right, thanks to that, I should be able to get the key going. Where's the key at? Where does it end up at? I don't remember where it does. Do you guys know? Kagami? Kagami, where are you at? Do you guys know where the water is? Your favorite is the third one? The water of life. The water of life. The key went down the drain. Okay. Alright. Well, we need to head down. It's definitely down there. Vámonos. Vámonos para abajo. Agüita como finita. Okay, Kagami, I think it's downstairs. I fell into the... It's gotta be into an opening somewhere. I'm gonna check the map. Maybe that question mark is it. The key falls to the courtyard? Okay, thank you. It's in the courtyard, that's why that question mark is there. Por eso está esa signo de interrogación, perro sangriento. Porque ahí está. So, I gotta head down. Head down to the first floor. First floor, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, got it. Voy a, voy a este al, acá bajito. Voy para bajito. Bumblers. ¿Cómo se llaman en español? Oh, you guys are the worst. They almost killed me. Almost killed me, guys. I need to save. Or else I'm dead. Ya me voy a morir. I need to save somewhere. Okay. Alright, alright. We're almost there, guys. We're almost to the end of the live stream for tonight. I will be doing it again tomorrow at 10 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Um, I will continue the game. Si, sí, este es especial de Halloween, perro sangriento. Once I beat the boss, we will leave it at that. Murmuradores, si, sí, así, así se traduce. Mumblers. So in Spanish, the mumblers are called murmuradores. So mañana voy a estar aquí otra vez a las 10, jugando otra vez. Cuando llegue al jefe, se va a acabar el live stream. Muchas gracias por estar aquí. Thank you everyone, once I defeat the, the boss, that will be the end of the live stream for tonight, and I will be live streaming again tomorrow, so stay tuned. Ojalá no, perro sangriento, porque no tengo vidas. Ya no tengo vida. Alright, so where is the key? ¿Dónde está la llave? It should be in the corner, I saw it. I saw it earlier, there it is. Ahí está. There's the classroom key. I'm gonna check it. Thank you everyone, you guys made the live stream really fun. Thank you very much. The second northwest? The tech classroom key found hanging in the drain pipe on the roof. Okay. What is that supposed to mean? What on earth does that mean? Murmuradores, I like the name of that. I like the name of that. That, that might be a good idea for a creature that I'm trying to create. Los murmuradores. Okay. That key said the second floor, right? Look. Second northwest. It's a classroom key. Okay. So it's on the second floor. Okay. Okay, perfect. I know where it is. I need I need to save though. I need to make sure I save. So I need to go into the infirmary.
Is it in here? Yeah, it is. Save, save, save. Or else I'm dead. Okay, voy a salvar. Por si me muero. Whoa, it's extremely creepy without the flashlight. Se pone bien feo sin la luz. Alright, head to the second floor. Got it. Head to the second floor. Through the courtyard to the left. Got it. It's true, that's true. Because you don't know when you're gonna die, especially on hard mode. I will be doing Resident Evil Deadly Silence as soon as I'm done with Silent Hill 1. And then I will continue with Silent Hill 2. Humbler again. Cielo Santo, no tengo vidas. I have no lives. I got no health drinks. Imagine trying to survive without a flashlight. I might just do that uh, the next time I play this game on a live stream. I might try to do it without a flashlight. That should be interesting. That's a good idea. Kagami, thank you very much. Trying to do a challenge. How long can you go without the flashlight? Okay, I'm gonna take this guy on with the uh, pipe. Come on, Mumbler. They're smarter than they look. They'll wait for the right moment. Take this. Stomp. He's getting up again. He's down. Kick. Patearles, darles una buena patadita para que se queden abajo. ¿Te da más miedo el Silent Hill que el Resident Evil? A mí el primer Resident Evil es el único que me da miedo. El primero sí está feo. He's saying that the first... Uh, he's saying that Silent Hill scares them more than Resident Evil. Okay, so it's in here. We're getting close. We're getting close to the boss. Okay, I don't want to go in there, otherwise I'm dead. I'm gonna need my handgun again. Reload. Okay. You're pretty sure that the monsters will not notice you if you turn off the flashlight? They do to a degree, but they can still hear you. The monsters can still hear you. Gosh, this door is locked? Okay, there's the classroom key. Of course. Definitely, Travis. Silent Hill is creepier than uh, and scarier than Resident Evil. Especially the movies. Okay, I'm surrounded. Ah! No hugs. No hugs. <laughs> no me gustan los abrazos. I probably should open that door. There's a health drink. Yes. Perfect, guys. Perfect. Perfecto. Aquí había vida. Unfortunately, Kagami, I'm as blind as a bat. I do need the flashlight, unfortunately, <laughs> to see. Three creepers? Four. There's four creepers in here. ¿Cómo se llaman estos en español, perro sangriento? Las cucarachas estas. En inglés se llaman creepers. Puros abracitos, yeah. <laughs> Health drink, okay. ¿Cómo se llaman las cucarachas estas? I'm asking what the roaches are called in Spanish. He's played it in, 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 uh, in Spanish mode. I suppose that is true. I, I did increase the brightness for the game because it was too dark on its own. I got a bunch of good stuff. Estamos salvados con esa vida? <laughs> <laughs> Gracias a Dios. Gracias a Diosito. Agüita como finita. Pura agüita. Ooh, what is that? I've never seen that before. It's a human's torso. Es el torso de alguien. Never seen that before. Alright, we gotta head down. Maybe I should have saved. I should have definitely saved.
Is there a way? Yeah, there is. Thank you. Mira, perro sangriento. Para poder irme para atrás. Cucarachas del mal. Se llaman creepers. Un creeper es cuando... Es cuando alguien te está siguiendo en la noche. Que te ve por escondido. Sí, está de returbio. Sí, es cierto. Oye, perro sangriento, vete a ver este Mujer Casos de la Vida Real. Está bien turbio. Ok, I saved. Ya salvé. Las cucarachas, las cucarachas. ¿Qué le pasa a esas grandes cucarachas espeluznantes? Están <ríe> diciendo the, the Roach Song. La cucaracha, la cucaracha. Ya no puede caminar. Cucarachas del infierno. He said that they're translated to the roaches of evil. That's what he said. That's what he said they were called. Ok, está bien, perro sangriento. Cuando vuelva a jugar Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, te mando un mensaje para que juegues conmigo. Ve el del el capítulo, se llama El Niño del Globo Rojo. So, there used to be a series, a creepy series in Mexico back in the day. Our parents used to watch it all the time. It was like the Silent Hill of back in the day. Um, it's called Mujer Casos de la Vida Real. It's called, uh, translated to um, woman, uh, real life cases, kind of like uh, Unsolved Mysteries. And they were very bizarre and very raw. And you guys should check them out on YouTube. And um, one of the creepy ones is called The Kid of the, of the Red Balloon. Basically, the kid gets kidnapped, and uh, I don't want to spoil it, but it's pretty freaky. It's called The Kid of the Red Balloon, and Niño del Rojo Rojo. So please check it out. So it looks like we got to the boss. I think. Okay. Nice. Nos dieron balas para escopeta. Nos salvó la vida. They gave us shotgun bullets and an ampule. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. We're getting to the end of the live stream, guys. After I defeat this ridiculous boss, uh, it will be the end. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and equip the shotgun. Lo veré mañana porque ya es de ya no ya no me quiero espantar. That's exactly what it is, Travis. It's like Pennywise in Mexico. No te preocupes, perro sangriento. Ya ve el otro día. Um, so I do remember that the monster can eat you whole. So I have to be careful. See you, balitas. Mi escopeta. I did create a shotgun Resident Evil and Silent Hill short. So please check it out on my YouTube channel and on Facebook. I would really appreciate it. It would make me really happy if you guys leave me a like and a comment. It's about the shotgun, the Remington M870. The first shotgun that appeared in Survival Horror. Here we go. Thank you very much, guys. Once the enemy is defeated, it will be the end. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this stupid puzzle. Oh, my God. ¿Te acuerdas de este perro sangriento? This puzzle is actually hard. I gotta figure it out. I think it's left, left, and then right. El silencio te pone nervioso. <laughs> okay. Let me see what happens if I turn to the right. Now, there is a reason for the bulbs in this game. They're actually symbolic. Okay. That's weird. That almost opened. Left. Left. Okay. I accidentally solved it. <laughs> Accidentalmente lo hice. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay. Well, this is actually my real reaction. Quiz and horror game, most scary than monster? <laughs> that's funny, that's funny. Vámonos. Alright, here comes the boss, guys. Now, because in Silent Hill, stuff tends to manifest if you believe in it. So if you read a book about something that's scary, it will manifest into the nightmare world. Sin miedito, perro sangriento, a ver qué pasa. 
Oh, I'll try to be careful, all right. I don't know what that corpse is, and I don't know why it did that, but there's the boss right there. Oh my god, I'm scared. Use the shotgun when he opens his jaw? Okay, thank you. I will. This thing is actually pretty fast, I remember, so it's in hard mode. I am shooting it with the shotgun. So I gotta keep running, I gotta keep my distance. I gotta reload. Where is it? Where'd it go? Run, 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 run! Run, 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 run! Oh my god! I didn't know I could do that! It's a lot faster in hard mode. Oh my god, oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it's from Resident Evil 1, the giant tiger, the, the giant spider. I'm gonna shoot it with the hang on for a bit. From far away. Take this! Run, 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 run! It has a one hit kill. <laughs> That's the whole point. It's the Black Tiger's theme from the remake of Silent of uh, Resident Evil. What's it doing? It's gonna open its maw. Open the maw. I'm gonna reload because if I do it wrong, I'm dead. Oh my god! Oh my god! It did get me. Dang it! <laughs> I died, guys! Wow! It ate me whole! <laughs> it got me! <laughs> oh my goodness gracious! I got eaten! I shot him! It didn't die! Is that the only way I can die, Travis? If I hit it in the mouth, is that the only way? Or can I shoot him from far away? Dang it. Until we beat this boss, I'm not ending the live stream. It killed me. Perro sangriento eres de mala suerte. You have to stand back farther? Okay. Okay. I can't believe it actually got me. Piece of crap. It wasn't like that on normal mode. It wasn't like that. Luckily, I saved. You have to hit him far fast in the mouth when it opens and stand back. So I stand back as I shoot? Okay. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Hopefully, it doesn't kill me again. Eres la oveja negra, ese gatito negro. I better get these shotgun bullets and stuff. Otherwise, uh, yeah. I better get them. The ampule's nice. I hate that little puzzle. Maybe I should save. I should save. So I did left, left, and then right, and then left, left, left. Okay. Left. Okay, and then right, and then I did right. Oops, wrong one. Um, it's called the lizard, the split worm lizard. Left, left, right. Left, left, right, switch valve, left, left, left. Okay, oopsies. So I should, oh my God. I already messed it up. If I leave the room, will it will it will it uh, reset? So left, left. Switch valve. Switch valve. Left, left. Okay. Oh my god! I pressed it wrong again. 
I really hate this thing. Right? And then it should be left, left, left. Okay, got it. Fun fact, the Travis who helped you actually is from the game Silent Hill Origins. Now that would be amazing. <laughs> that would be something. There it is. Thank you, Travis. I wonder if I leave the room, will it still be like that? I better go save. That way I don't have to do it again. Because I know I'm going to die again, guys. Voy a ir a salvar perro sangriento porque si me muero así no tengo que volver a hacer. Okay, nice. Si el miedito, si el miedito perro sangriento, a ver si lo puedo matar. Si me da miedo esa cosa ahora porque estoy estoy jugando en difícil. I'm playing on hard mode, so I've never played it on hard mode. The split the split lizard is like split from Silent Hill 3 minus the big teeth. That's exactly what it is, Mr. Travis. It's a homage to the split lizard from this game. Vámonos sin miedito, perro sangriento. Vámonos. I'm actually scared of this thing. <laughs> yeah, I never played Silent Hill myself. That is funny. <laughs> All right, here we go. Run, 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 run. Okay. Gosh, I hate the camera angles in this game. I gotta make sure I stand, I keep my distance, or else I'm dead again. Whenever it starts doing that. Yeah, whenever it starts doing that. Okay, run, run, run. I'm scared. This thing killed me. It ate me whole on the last on the last game right now. <laughs> I gotta reload. Okay, I got I got ten in stock. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Again. Oh, it almost got me. It almost got me. I survived. <laughs> How did that happen? That was a close one. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna let him open the jaw. Oh my god. Okay, this thing is annoying. Reload. Yeah, I only got five. Better make them count. Run, 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 run. Ah, it got me again. Yep, it did. Oh my god. Unfortunately, he's really hard to kill. I think you're damaging him and almost he dies like right away. Okay, here we go again. So it looks like it started me off here, so that's good. No perro sangriento, otra vez. Run, 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 run. This thing is hard. It was never this hard before. Careful, careful, careful. What's it doing? Okay. Si, sí, está bien difícil, el desgraciado. Gosh, why is he so hard? I don't remember him being this hard. Run. 
I'm gonna empty the rest of the clip on him, and then, and then I'm gonna use the shotgun on him. Ah, oh, he got me. Gosh, he's faster than he looks. His instant kill is what worries me. That's the thing that worries me. He's getting ready to open his maw right there. So he's almost dead. Gotta reload. Okay. Come on. Go, go, go! Uh, I'm dead again. This thing is annoying. It's hard. <laughs> that was delicious. Estaba delicioso. Estoy bien delicioso. Perro sangriento. Hijo de su mecha, no? I can't get him. How do I get this guy? He's too fast, and then he corners me on the corner. He waits for me to get cornered on the corner. He keeps doing it. It's very fast. It's faster than it looks. Run, 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 run. There we go, okay. Yeah, I do, but it's not working. He's not... Oh, the step back! Okay. I know what you're talking about now. Okay, I remember the step back. I know what you're talking about now. Okay, yeah, that's right. Oh my god, he's not doing it. How do I do it? How do I do the step back? He's not doing it. Run, 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 run. He's not doing the step back. Why is he not doing the step back? Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to get him to use it, but he's not doing it. Why is he not doing it? I'm just dancing around now at this point. He's not doing the step back. I'm freaking out. Double back button? Okay. The double back button. Okay. Ah, stupid thing, man. doing it I can't do it for some reason he's not doing it yep he's not doing it I'm just gonna die again oh my goodness gracious why is he not doing it he's not doing it Why is he not doing it? Okay, I'm just gonna start shooting him normally. Hopefully he'll go down. I don't think he will. Why is he not doing it? Okay, I 
think I figured something out. I gotta keep him in here. It's in dual shock right now, but it's not doing it. I was able to do it earlier. I don't know what's going on. How many bullets do I have? Okay. I, fi I think I figured something. I gotta lure him in there, in the, in the center. Go, 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 go! Ah! Why is he still not dead? Why is that thing still not dead? Okay. I figured something out. Está medio intenso, perro sangriento. Okay, I gotta reload. Okay, it's all good. Okay. That's not ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Don't tell me that. <laughs> I'm scared of this thing. I'm about to kill him. Come on. Yes! He's dead! Take that, you stupid thing! That thing was the worst! Oh my god! This is too of a fail. That was ridiculous, guys. <sighs> Nice, I got him somehow. I couldn't get it to work, Travis. I couldn't get the, the back hop to work. Thank you very much. See you. Who? What was that? Who in the hell was that? Si, sí, tengo las manos bien sudadas. This is a boiler room. Thank you very much, guys, for the help. That was tough. That was a, that was tougher than it looked. <laughs> I hated being getting in the hole. And here's the valves. The valve is tightly shut. Can't move it. Aquí están las válvulas, perro sangriento. So it turns out that the monster was actually the boiler. Do you guys know why? Sabes por qué el monstruo era el boiler, perro sangriento? Era el boiler. The boiler is off. Do any of you on the chat know why the monster manifested like a from like a boiler? There's a reason for that. But anyways, it looks like I'm doing pretty good. I lost all my shotgun bullets. I'm pretty good in uh, handgun bullets, and it looks like I got a key. It looks like the name K Gordon is on it. Found in the school's boiler room. Sí, perro sangriento, era el boiler. That's exactly what it is. Thank you, Mr. Travis. So, los niños pensaban que era un monstruo, era un boiler. Y por eso la niña, la que viste es el fantasma, ella hizo de su imaginación ese, ese, ese lagarto. No, that's absolutely true, Travis. The kids and the, um, the little girl that you guys saw right now, the ghost, they, they they were scared of the boiler room, so it manifested as a lizard. So in Silent Hill, if you believe that something will kill you, it will. In Silent Hill, perro sangriento, si crees que te va a matar algo, si pasa. So if you believe strongly in fairy tales, or in storybooks like the splitting lizard, it will appear. Hoy no vas a dormir, sangriento. Toma agua. Oh, yeah. A cutscene. A church bell. Maybe. Who's ringing the bell? So, parece que la iglesia está sonando. So, vamos para la iglesia. So, we're heading to the Balkan church. Someone's there. Someone's, someone's, uh, hitting the bell. The bell is towing. <laughs> Te has explotado la cabeza. He says that Silent Hill makes his head explode. <laughs> 
and that he's not sleeping tonight. All right, so we're back into the school. Ya regresamos a la escuela. Yep, that's exactly what it is, Travis. Makes sense, right? When we're kids, the dark and scary noises makes us very afraid, and we do not want to go where the sounds were or in the dark. Yeah, it's basically like the boogeyman. It's kind of like uh, if there's a monster in the closet, but in this world, because of the, of the strange stuff happening, it's unlocked. Because of the strange stuff happening, it's manifesting for real, and it can actually kill you. No vas a dormir hoy. Ahora rumbo a la iglesia para que te persinen. So we're back to the normal world, but the lock is jammed. I'm gonna go take a look at these notes. And I think I'm gonna save it here. But the bloody notes are gone. Okay. That's strange. The door is locked. There should be something in the infirmary. Yep. There we go. So the live stream is coming to an end. Um, I did defeat the first stage of the game. We'll be good. We'll be tackling the second stage on the second part on tomorrow. And the game is really hard, so stay tuned. There should be some health items here. Nope. I'm not gonna get the satisfaction of that. Muchas gracias, perro sangriento. Muchas gracias. Thank you, Travis. Thank you to all my Twitchers. Thank you very much for being here. We're getting the heck out of here. We're heading to the next place. Okay, I think I should end it here, guys. I think this is a good place to end it. So, we got the key of the Gordon. I'm gonna recap what just happened. So, we're looking for Harry Mason's daughter, who went missing after the car crash. For those of you who don't know in the future. And we tried to track her down at the, at the elementary school. And we haven't found her yet. So, somehow... We solved a couple puzzles and it opened up a door to some kind of other world. We went inside and then the school ended up turning into a nightmarish uh, realm. So, and then I ended up tackling against this nasty split head lizard, which killed me like three times. So, and then after we killed it, we woke up in the boiler's room and we ended up witnessing a ghost of a girl. It disappeared and it left us a key for one of the teachers in the elementary school. Her name was, uh, Katie Gordon, I believe. But um, that's where we're heading to now for tomorrow. So stay tuned. Um, so, hasta mañana, perro sangriento. Los lamentos de fondo te gustan, son de fallout. <laughs> well, guys, um, I think this is it. I'm gonna end it here. So, duerme con a gusto, perro sangriento, no te pasa nada. Sleep tight, guys. Try not to think about it too much. Anyways, this is Shooting Riser. Over and out. Until next time, guys. It, it, it. Kay Gordon was a woman. It was She was a teacher. Good night, Travis. Thank you very much. Special thank you to Travis. Special thank you to Perro Sangriento. Special thank you to my Twitcher. Um, I gotta look up your name, uh, Kagami. Special thank you if you're still watching. <laughs> yeah, the split head just wants to give a taste, huh? The camera angle is freaking killing me too. Excellent noche, muchas gracias. Excellent night, guys. Good night. Have a good night, guys.